Hey, it's fine and easy. I'm back. <laughs> I got early. I'm I'm kind of early today, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna t continue on with the story mode of Blaze Blue. Um, really, not much to say. Like, we're just gonna continue on. I don't know which story to do, to be honest. But um, I was leaning towards either Rachel or um, maybe Noel. Probably Rachel because I kind of want to deal with her stuff first. <laughs> who knows? Let me check who we have available. Because I wanted to do Jin at first. But I'm like, wait, we don't unlock Jin yet. Oh, there's Tao and Rachel and Noah. Alright. How about this? Let's do the funny character first and then we tackle Rachel and Noel next. Carl! Yeah, I'll say Carl for like last that sounds like a good idea all right do tell tell stories journey hey it's it's like the first game a bunch of kittens resting with tell in the sunlight this is the village of the kaka clan which is located on the lowest level of kagusuchi in the middle of the village is a hill covered with trees and flowers and bathed in sunlight, a perfect spot to take a nap. It is here that Tao Kaka, the warrior of the Kaka clan, is taking a nap, drawing out in the warm, <clears throat> warming rays of the sun. Hey, I won't be reading anymore because, um... <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> for you to leave the village? Meow! Why would Tao do that? To become a truly formidable warrior, you need to go out into the world and experience all there is to experience outside the confines of the village. Meow! That sounds like a real hassle! Huh! Thanks, but no thanks! Come again? I like it here! I want to spend my life relaxing and lazing in the sun. Meow. Tao, you have much to learn. As of now, you are incapable of protecting the place you say you truly love. Tao is strong. Yeah, Tao is real strong. Was that with my capture card? Why is it like All right. glitching? I get it, Meow. Tao will leave the village and become an amazing warrior and protect everyone. Meow. Right. I hope that makes it not blink Good, every now Tao. and then. That's what I wanted to hear from you. Go forth and become a warrior worthy of the Kaka clan. You might even surpass Tora Kaka someday. Wait, how did I do Tal story no. again? Hold on. I need I to try to remember. I told the chief that I'd go and become an amazing warrior and that I'd protect everyone and all that. But I 
really don't want to leave the village. But I won't be able to protect the village unless I become stronger. I really, really don't want... Meow, 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 meow! It seems kind of hard. Come to think of it, it is kind of hard! <sighs> Just thinking about it is making me sleepy. I guess I'll go back to my nap for now. It's nap time! It's nap time! Meow! Come on, Tal. Do some work. Come on. Wow! Hey, it's Ragnar. It's that good guy, Meow! What happened to you? You look like a blood sprinkler! <sighs> meow? He fell asleep! Jeez! What in the heck am I supposed to do with him, Meow? Tao's nap spot is for Tao only! <laughs> Squiggly! Not you again! Meow! Uh, time to fight <laughs> Arakune. Oh wow. Get me. So now Get off me. Get up or I'll beat you into a moat. The will of fate is turning. Rebel right, one. Back. Action. Why couldn't I do some of the inputs? Okay, I need totally to go check the, the combination, um, command list <laughs> after this cutscene. Timing couldn't be better. I was just... Meow! Is that Torakaka over there? Long time no see, Meow! Jump! Ah, oh. <laughs> Easy, Tao. I'm not going anywhere. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Tao. By the way, something slipped off your back just now. Meow! Oh, I almost forgot! I'm sorry, good guy! Good guy? this guy from that one time that one time are you and good guy friends uh no it's nothing anyway he looks to be severely injured meow 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 oh, you're right his head is split wide open uh tell oh well, that's <laughs> him just right now yeah you when dropped, dropped him, him on his head <laughs> I mean, he was injured from Carl, but she's now more the injured. This wound. Tao, go fetch Lychee immediately. Great idea. Be right back. Oh, wait. Mm. I want to keep the gag reel for now. Actually, no, the gag reel is easy to get, so it doesn't work that. Meow. Orientan always smells so good. <laughs> Drawn by the delicious smell, Tao slowly sh shambles in the direction of a Chinese restaurant. However, her eyes suddenly snap open in shock. She quickly slurped up the Oh, that was threatening to create a massive puddle on the ground. No! Bad Tao Kaka! Tao came here to visit Booby Lady and see if she can fix good guys. Kaka clan. A replica, eh? You smell just like Shorty Meow! Smell like Shorty? <laughs> what an interesting thing to say. Oh. <laughs> it's Carl. Why are you laughing? Tao wasn't trying to be funny, meow. Laugh? Me? You can laugh without feeling happy or having fun? I get it. You're just a big fat fibber guy. Fibber. <laughs> what, what, mm. what does that even mean? She's a fairly decent copy. Her sense of smell is remarkable. In addition, she carries the scent of azure. Azure? What's that? She might have encountered azure somewhere in the past, but this is seemingly pointless. And continues to mumble under his breath as he walks away. What in the heck was all of that about, meow? Like I even care! I have to hurry up and find Booby Lady! Oh, Booby Lady! I want to play with your bouncy boobies! Meow! Stop. Bounce. 
Oh, uh, that's not Booby that Lady. I mean, Bing May has a big chest, but it's not boobs, though. <laughs> it's raw muscles. Mistaken me for Miss Lychee and ah, uh, oh, oh my. What's the matter, Meow? Your nose is bleeding like crazy. Who did this to you? Uh, uh, no, it's uh, you see, I thought of something and it uh. Oh, really? he's having a what loot dot. Ah, classic anime nose I, lead. Nice. I can't tell you that. Meow, you got me all curious. What kind of thoughts would make a person shoot blood from their nose like that? If I could learn a way to make an opponent bleed uncontrollably from the nose, it'd make me much stronger. Meow! S stop! Stop saying that! What? That you're bleeding? But you are! You want me to say you're leaking, Scruffy Man? Cause you're leaking all over the place! Oh, that's not any better. No, it's worse. Such embarrassment. Do I leak or do I bleed? Neither befits a hero of love and justice. Scruffy Man, we don't have the time to waste on trivia! Can it be that I am the one of us who gets chastised? Wait, I understand it all now. You're not the Tawakaka I know, are you? That's right, Meow! Tao decided to improve her skills each day to become stronger! Hmm, good for you. A wise choice. So, what brought you here, Scruffy Man? <gasps> are you here to fondle Booby Lady's boobies? Fondle? No, I I'm here because Carl needs a check. Oh, that's right! I completely forgot about him. Carl, are you alright? Pull yourself together, man! Huh. You have Carl's passed out from his battle with Ragna. Can you hear me? Please say something. Speak! No. No. C could he... Damn you, cruel fate! Yes! Thank the gods, I am so relieved! Don't worry, Carl. I, Bang Shishigami, will not let you die! You don't... need... to yell. Man, you need to settle down. No need to scream like that. Shorty is still alive. Who's causing all of this racket in the clinic? Ah, uh, my apologies. Are you patients here? Do you have business with Dr. Lychee? I do, meow! Dr. Lychee is out of the clinic right now. Bobby Lady's not here? I just said that. Where did she go, Meow? When will she be back? Uh, sorry. I don't have a clue to where she is right now. She never tells me where she's off to. Is that so? Alright, so what we have to do is click option A to get to like both the true and the bad ending route. We're gonna get her bad ending first, and then true ending, and then we're gonna do the gag ending. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, booby lady! Where art thou? Meow!
Tao, what are you doing here? Meow! <laughs> They're real this time! Meow! Real? Don't worry about it! Hmm? What's the matter, booby lady? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not quite yourself today. Is something wrong? N no I'm fine. You sure? If you say so. Anyway, Tao, did you have something you wanted me to do? Oh, that's right! There's someone in the village that's really hurt bad! I wanted you to go and help him, Meow! Hurt? Please tell me it wasn't hit. I mean, Arachne again! No! I got rid of Squiggly before he could do anything bad! Is that so? But he did appear again, didn't he? Anyway, you gotta come with me right now, booby lady! Okay, um... Save. Replace that one. I'm back, meow. Ragnar the Blood Edge. Please, booby lady, hurry up and heal, good guy, meow. Uh, of course. These wounds are serious. They must have been... ...caused by Nox Nictoris. He must have used the Usher Grimoire. No, don't poke the injured man. <laughs> Let him well rest. Well then, well then, how about here? Ah, son of a! <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good guy. I know you. You're the brat who keeps stealing my food. Ow, ow, ow! Ah. You need to rest more, meow. The village chief said that if you don't rest for three more days, you'll die. Oh, shut the hell up. I can't afford to waste any more time lying around. I said you have to rest more, meow! The hell's gotten into you? Why don't you get all responsible? Well, because I can't risk losing the only person who buys me food, and if you were to die, I'd die too! I thought as much. It's always about food with you. Sorry to disappoint you, but I gotta get going now. I'm Yuzu, how are you? Hey, man, how are ya? <laughs> I'm doing fine. We just started Tao's story. And so far, it's just Tao doing Tao stuff. We're gonna get her bad ending first. And then the true ending.
And then we're gonna get her, um, her gag ending. I'm time. doing good. Good to hear. Rebel one. Action. Sting. Sting! Move it! Wait, what is her command? Hush, hush, Oh yeah, I forgot about the cat litter. Oh yeah, Moon, didn't you say you're gonna get like Persona 3 Reloaded or something? Do you manage to get it? Alright, I'll try doing this. Damn it, fuck that up. All right. <laughs> I won. Meow. Now you have to stay here until you're all better. Wait a second, Taukaka. What's that? There's a stake flying through the air. Meow. Where? Where's the flying stake? Gotcha. I was just. Yeah, I got it on tail. Steam. Just See waiting later. for it to unlock. Oh, that's wonderful. That's cool to hear. That means you're gonna like um, Wait, have fun with Persona Three hey, Reloaded once it like unlocks and everything. I have a bad feeling about this. I feel like I have a whole rabble of butterflies fighting it out in my tummy. I guess I'll just have to go after Good Guy Meow. one I think this one because we don't necessarily need this one never seen this place before. I wonder where good guy ran off to. Oh, it looks like there's someone over there. I'll just ask them where I am. Hello, over there, you, with the hat. Is it platinum? Me? Oh no, it's Ivaki. Yes, <laughs> you red lady. Have you seen good guy around here? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you're talking about. Who might Let's you see, be? Just check. I can preload it now. Go, hey, go, go, you go. can preload, reload it. <laughs> I'm not a red lady. My name is Tsubaki Yayoi, and I'm a first lieutenant in service to the Novus Orbis Librarium. Okay, so red lady's name is Tsubaki. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your tail and ears are anything to go by. You must be from the Kaka clan. Wow. You know about Tao and the rest of us? You're really super smart, Red Lady! I'm really not, but thank you. Anyway, what do you mean, Savaka? Yeah, You're literally, the like, the man. class president. You you, you have to be smart to be that. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, you were in the student council about. back in your academy days. Ragna? Wait. Do you mean Ragna the Blood Edge? <laughs> That's right, Red Lady! Ragna the Drool Spittle! Meow! The <laughs> Drool Spittle. been looking all over for him! Looking for him? Are you his partner? Partner? Meow, 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 meow. A good guy and Tao sometimes.
sometimes eat lunch together, take naps together, and eat meals together. You're working with him then. I see. Very well. All right, time to yeah. fight. What's the matter, red lady? Your face suddenly got all scary. Silence, member of the Kaka clan. I cannot allow you to pass. Oh, you want to play with Tao? I won't hold anything back, red lady. All right, time to fight. <laughs> The will paid its tonic. Rebel one. Action. Wait. Counter. 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 Reload complete. Yeah. Now to wait. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Oh, what, what on earth do you think you're doing? Uh, classic towel. <laughs> First movie lady, and then lacking lady, and now what? What? What nickname will Sabaki get? I mean, she's called Red Lady, but she's gonna get a new one right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I feel so much better, Meow. Once again, see you around. Yeah, I love my downward speed. That's wonderful. How dare she call these average? They're not average, are they? <laughs> oh. I don't know what's worse, being called flat or just being called average. <laughs> I think average is like a little bit worse. <laughs> because it can people can just be like, oh, it's just mid. It's just average. <laughs> this place is even stranger than the last. Also, classic tau. Yep. Lucky day. I didn't expect to see you here, lacking lady. Look, it's lacking lady. Oh my god, we found lacking lady. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, lacking lady? You don't look so hot, meow. Do you have a fever? Here, let me check. Oh, so sorry. But could you please not, uh, touch her? Beautifully proportioned hand came out of nowhere to slap Tao's hand. Beautifully proportioned. Wow, that's one way to describe a person's hand. <laughs> hey, it's Green Guy! 
green guy. <laughs> oh, so you remember me? How sickening. I really don't want your cat stench stinking her up, okay? Meow! Tao Kaka doesn't stink, meow! Meow, meow, meow. That's terribly annoying, you know. Oh well, you're here, I'm here. Let's call it fate. I guess you're a little better than the rest of the cats, I know. Think you could spare me a minute or two? Oh, let's just say it's a little test of the life link. Alright, so we need to lose to Noel to get the bad ending. That's what I'm gonna do. And after we get the bad ending, we do the true ending. And then we get the gag ending afterwards. The will fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action! <laughs> Yay, we did it! We're gonna get the bad ending! Lacking lady, huh? Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? Cause now she's abundant lady. Maybe not in the... Well, you know. But she's nice, got good it. job, yep. Everything a man could want. <laughs> abundant lady. I mean... In the context of the story, yeah, she's gonna become like... A literal god slayer, so I guess that's accurate. Fortunately, I think there might Abundant. be a issue with its intervention process. What a waste! Just more yayoi garbage after all. Meow. Oh, you're still here? Look, I don't need you for anything anymore. Just, I don't know. Get out of my sight. You're gross. What the hell are you doing here, old man? <laughs> Thank you for your help, Falconheim. Then consider yourself in my debt, Torakaka. Take the child and leave this place now. Torakaka! Oh, no! Once again, you have my thanks. What the hell do you think you're doing, Grandpa? know you were such a cat person. Oh, whoa, hey, here's a thought. Is this just that goddamn vampire yanking your chain again? I am indebted to Torakaka for a number of things. The tea leaves she brings us, for instance, have such a rich fragrance and an exquisite taste. Madam <laughs> is quite fond of them. Okay, why the hell do you think I give two shits about a vampire? Well, you ask. That's the thing. You ask for the reason. <laughs> God damn it, young man! I will tolerate your coarse language if I must, but I will not allow you to speak ill of Madame Rachel. <laughs> Big words from such a shriveled old fart. I guess that's all you've got. Yeah, thought so. Looks like old age has finally caught up with you. Watch your tongue, boy. 
lest I separate your throat from your body. Interesting. I guess you do have me at a bit of a disadvantage. So, good thing I've got a buddy here to help me out. Come on out, pal. Say hi to the nice man. Huh? So, you are Valkenhayn, was it? I see. Interesting. Relius, Clover, what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, look at You're that. Torakaka, the towels, meow. Piggy back ride on Torakaka. <laughs> good old big yes, sister. <laughs> Yes, you need to become stronger. Scruffy Man told me the same thing, Meow! Do you think Tao needs more training? Definitely, Tao. Not only do you need more training, but you need to train more seriously as well. Tao will train harder than ever before and become stronger than anybody! Is that so? But Tao, what will you do once you do become that strong? After I become strong, I want to protect everyone, meow! Tao loves everyone in the village! And food! Tao loves food! <laughs> You'll need to become much stronger than you are now. You'll need to become at least as strong as the cat person before you have the strength necessary to protect the village and everyone in it. Yeah. That's right, meow! I'll become as strong Aww, as the cat yeah. person! Good heart good hearted Tao. I'm so psyched out that I got hungry! <laughs> then let's hurry back to the village and get something to eat. Uh, Tao? <laughs> He's a snoring. Oh, Tao, I guess you're still just a kitten after all. One of the many possibilities of the continuing ship. Teach me, um, tail lady. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a little cool. Um, I want to call it Easter egg. It was a little cool ding. So whenever you get the Greetings bad ending of a character children. story, you get sent to this place <laughs> called Help Me, Professor Kokonoe, where essentially Kokonoe would just give you advice how to get the true ending for that character, and it's like you know, different for each character. And she like bounces out with their personalities quite well. There's like a little neat thing. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room also, there's a lot of fourth wall breaking want. here as well. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. <laughs> if you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you, you can tell that the fourth wall does not exist here. <laughs> she just calls out people like that. Oh, that's an awesome concept. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. I love it a lot. Honestly, I have actually seen those type of people before. <laughs> it's it's quite so, it's quite something that she's just calling them out. <laughs> Very well. 
Lost child of the day, you may enter. Oh, it's the tail lady! You, Tao, right? That's right, Meow! Tao's full name is Tao Kaka! Oh, right. So what are you here for? Hmm? Uh, good question. Why is Tao here? Uh, you're here because you want to ask me something, right? Oh, yeah! Someone told me that when I got here, I should ask this. All right, who was that someone? And what did they tell you to ask? I've already seen the CG stuff for the normal ending. I should try to get the true ending, meow! At least that's what it says on this card. <laughs> oh my god. They actually mentioned this <laughs> CG. <laughs> and like, utter stuff. Wow, alright. <laughs> the new towel was... His name on Blaze Blue Radio is Mr. I Love to Skip. Oh, that's another neat reference. Like, when the game of Blaze Blue was, like, not released yet, there, there was actually a series of, um, YouTube videos called the Blaze Blue Radio. Which essentially, you just have, like, developers and the voice actors of the characters just, like, giving you information about the game and, like, goofing off and, like, you know, um, doing a lot of memes. Like, there's a lot of memes that happens in the Blaze Blue Radios. <laughs> Whatever. All right, Taokaka. My advice to you is that you shouldn't just go wherever you feel like going because you're curious. Why, Meow? You need to grow up, I guess. I mean, you can't be a little girl forever, can you? Ho-ho! Tao gets it now! A little girl? That sounds absolutely yummy! So what does Tao have to do? Huh, <laughs> well... Don't say that you think little girls are yummy. People are going to get the wrong idea. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that you need to stick to Ragna like glue. <laughs> stick to Ragna like glue. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to follow good guy? Wasn't that your plan to begin with? Actually, it totally slipped Tao's mind. <laughs> well, I think I've said this before, but you've got a tendency to completely forget what you're doing. Do that and you'll die. So be careful. I see. Um, tail lady? Bored already, huh? What's up? What are you licking right now? This? It's just silvervine candy. Silvervine. Tao wants one too! This? I can't give you one in the game, but I guess you can have one here. Have fun with it. Oh, look at that. Thanks. She gets exclusive, um... Candy here, even though um, like Kokonoi never shares oh. it <laughs> in the main Something game. Something wrong? Tail lady? What? <clears throat> no, I, I mean, Professor Kokonoi? Oh. What the hell? I beg you to forgive the rudeness and total lack of respect that I have regrettably shown you throughout the series. I, Tawakaka, am truly ashamed of my infantile behavior. It was truly reprehensible. What is this? Why are you talking like that? Are you trying to change your image? Just stop it. You're not going to be able to do it. I understand. I know all too well that I am not fit to be the heroine of any story let alone this one. However, a question does fester within my brain, a veritable canker of the soul. Why is it that the heroine and you, who has her own section, why are you so mammary deficient? Wow, that's just a smart way of saying why you're flat. <laughs> that's literally just like a nerd, like trying to ask like, why are you flat? <laughs> you keep those little observations to yourself, okay? <laughs> Damn. What's wrong? Change your personality because of Silvervine Candy, yep. Ciao! 
now! Hey! What the hell? Her head's exploding! Oh. Meow! <gasps> that candy was awesome! What's wrong, tail lady? Huh? You're back. You don't remember anything, do you? What are you talking about? I felt like my mind was aglow with whirling, transient nodes of thought careening through a cosmic vapor of invention. But it must have just been Tao's imagination. I... I see. Tao's going bye-bye, Meow. Thanks for the candy, Tail Lady. Uh, okay. Be careful out there. I had no idea this would have that kind of effect on someone from the Kaka clan. Silverline candy is dangerous. I... I guess I should destroy it. But well, that's your favorite candy, though. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright. Yippee! We did it. Alright. Let's go get the true ending now. And then we're gonna... Then we're gonna get the gag ending next. Oh, we don't look another story. Who is it? Dang. All right, good to know. Um, which I think is this one. This is the one we fight Noel. Yep, is this one. All right, let's let's do this. Let's beat up. <laughs> let's beat up Noel. <laughs> The will paid its taunting. Rebel one. Action. There we go, we got her. You got the grab, let's go. <laughs> Tao won, <meow! laughs> oh, so a cheap copy like that, huh? Guess it's not really in top form yet. Why is the voice so low compared to the music? I put the music down, but the voice is so low. <laughs> Will you please stop that? It's really annoying. I really don't want any cats around just now, so if you could just go ahead and die, that'd be super. Not only a wave of mal <laughs> malice, hatred, and it <laughs> came out of Hazuma's body. Uh, but I couldn't read that fast enough. <laughs> The person who stepped in between Tao and Hazuma was no other than Juve, one of the six legendary heroes. Ugh. That's why I hate cats so much, you know. They smell awfully bad. Meow, wait! You go get him, Tao Kaka. I got some business I gotta take care of here. Got it, Meow! Leave him to me! Wait, do I have to fight him? Please don't tell me how to fight right, Hazuma. I don't want to fight unlimited Hazuma. I Come on, it's game. About time you showed yourself. I know you're hiding out there. My hat's off to you, Jubei. When did you notice I was here? <laughs> Hard to spot a fella crazy as you. Hmm. Really is Clover, the puppeteer. This is what brought you here. Well, 
I didn't want anybody to interrupt Hazuma for the time being. I can't just leave you and Hazuma no tear me. I can't rightly leave you two here with Noel. Unfortunately, some people are far too dense to understand what is happening here, no matter how many times it's explained to them. For that reason, we came to the 13th hierarchical city of Kagutsuchi. We? No. Yes, they're already here. What the hell do you think you're doing, you damn fool? No need to be so upset. That wound you received hasn't healed, has it? That was your doing too? Under normal circumstances, I'd have to acknowledge you as the most powerful creature on this planet. The spirit and resolve that radiates from you is astounding. However, in your current condition, do you honestly think you can defeat me? Ignis, come. Alright. The fact that they're letting us save here, that's that's telling me we're, we're in a world, we're, we're gonna be in a world of pain. Oh boy. Uh... The, yep, we have to find limited Hazuma. Uh, I hate this. Think you get here. So this is the continuum shift, huh? Hmm. Might be a little bit of a problem. making a whole lot of noise, so I had to put him to sleep. I can't believe you did this to Good Guy! Green Guy must be a bad guy! Oh, I don't know about that. Tao's heart is aching badly, Hell, It's like it's being crushed by the power that makes people sad and unhappy! Tao will punish anyone who makes people unhappy! Oh, it's a Sailor Moon reference. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just think you're so cool, don't you? Okay, fine. I was getting a little bored anyway, and I've still got plenty of time left. I'll play with you for a little while. Restriction 666 released. Dimensional interference field deployed. Show you the power of the Azure. Please, Blue, activate. Oh, he did say Colt SLL. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, I am going to kill you so dead, you damn cut. The will bait is turning. Rebel one. Action. Can't keep up. Counter. Not even. The hell. Get back here. Counter. 
Set up. Ah, oh, you got me with the astral finish. As Tao's consciousness began to fade away, she could almost feel the gentle warmth of the sun as if it, it was at her favorite nap spot in the village. She looked relaxed and content as if she was sleeping, basking in the warmth of the sun. But Tao never opened her eyes again. Tao Kaka falls to her knees. Oh, look at that. It's letting me retry. It's not, it's not going to send me back to the, <laughs> the menu. All right. And falls unconscious, never to stir again. But her desire to protect gives her new strength. All right, was this retry? Uh, I hate fighting. I'm going to house him off. The will of fate is turning. Rebel one, action. <laughs> Get back here! Poor Tao, may she rest in peace. Yeah. Wait! That didn't kill him? Really? That didn't kill him? Come on. Now he's dead. But still, really? That that special didn't kill him? I thought it did enough damage. What the heck? <laughs> Still got enough juice left to talk, huh? Bet that tenacity's from one of your cat genes, am I right? Well, let me tell you, it's annoying and really goddamn stupid! Forget Green Guy. You're definitely more like Scary Guy now! Scary Guy? <laughs> Your animal instincts provided you that little bit of insight? Fat lot of good those razor-sharp instincts are gonna do you, since they're about to die along with the rest of you. Now, just keep your idiotic mouth shut and die with some dignity! Oh, what am I saying? You wouldn't know dignity if it bit you in the ass. Tokaka! Shut up, you goddamn cat! Jubei blocks Teremi's attack easily, leaps into the air with Tao clutch under his arm. You all right? 
right, kid? Don't push yourself, kid. I ain't happy about it neither, but we got a retreat for now. Leave the rest to them. Juby raises his head and turns his glance towards the three silhouettes standing off in the distance. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I get it. Yay, Juby Saital. Yeah, he did it. He saved her. We're in the true ending route now, from what I'm gathering. Yeah, true ending route. The feeling of a warm... Sorry, the feeling of a fluffy blanket. Oh, that's a wonderful feeling. The pleasant sound of a familiar voice. The faint smell of soup tickles Tal's nose. Oh, Tal is woken up! Tal has woken up, village chief! As Tal slowly r rises out of bed, she looks up to see a group of familiar faces surrounding her. The village chief, Tora, and a kindle of kittens and Jubei. What happened to Tal? You came back to the village all beaten up, Tal. All beat up. Meow. Now Tal remembers. Tal got beaten up by Green Guy. Village chief, Tao isn't very strong. I won't be able to protect the village, especially like this. I mean, you're fighting unlimited Hazuma. He's he's bullshit to begin Tau with. It's Kaka. fine, Tao. That's not true. Tora Kaka. Tao is strong. However, we are only talking about you yourself. Warriors of the Kaka clan need to have the strength to fight for and protect others besides themselves. Strength to protect someone besides themselves? No. In order to gain strength, a warrior must test themselves against their enemies. In addition, a warrior must know when not fighting will serve the greater good. Tao's not quite sure she understands. What should I do to become really strong? I reckon you need to go have yourself a look at the world. But Tao is worried about the village. Tao Kaka, do not worry about the safety of the village. I will have Tora Kaka stay to guard the village until you return to us one day as a truly formidable warrior. You can count on me. If you do, then I got a favor I'd like to ask you, Tao Kaka. Name it, cat person. I want you to find Ragna and take real good care of him for me. Good guy? Yeah. Sure, that fella looks tough. But truth be told, he can't do a damn thing all by his lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting Pot on me you, kettle. Kid. Cat person, you know I can't say no to you. Tao will go on a journey and find good guy. No. Are you leaving us again, Tao? Oh, look at that. Tao's gonna go on a journey. And everyone's saying goodbye to her. No, no, what? Tal, you're gonna get distracted. No, what? come on. But as much as I hate to say it, napping will have to wait. What? Why? If I take a nap now, and if someone evil shows up at that napping spot, I might get my tail handed to me. But if I go on an adventure now and get stronger, I'll be able to tear apart any baddie that crosses my path. That 
that way. That spot can stay the best napping spot forever. If Tao can smack down any bad guys and keep the village safe, we'd be able to find more napping spots. How does that sound to you? There we go, we got the true ending for Tal's story. Story mode clear, we see we got a lot of money, we got a um experience, first round victory, first blood. Yep, we did good. I wanna see if we got a level up from that. Hold on. Nope. We just got a lot of money, but not level up. Alright. Alright, game. Good to know. Alright, now we have one more ending for Tao. And it is the funny ending. So we need to go here. Good job. Thank you, man. But yeah, we need to go here. Let's get through all of this. And we need to select the second option in the text box when it appears. All right. Eh, tell feeling kind of lazy, Mal. Yep. <laughs> I can relate. I can relate to that. Just feeling lazy. All right. Uh, what's it? Let's erase that. I guess I'll just wait for Booby Lady here. What a pain in Tao's tail. Then I shall wait here Hi, as music. well. Hey, Skull Paria. We're just Smithy doing man. the um Sh the sure. story mode for Blaze Blue Continuum Emergency. Shift. I am doing Tal's um, gag ending, which is the Boss, funny ending. We already emergency. got the true ending and bad ending beforehand. Huh? So we're doing her last the ending, which is the Blue funny pops? ending. What's the matter? I didn't know Scruffy Man owned a candy store. Meow. Don't keep things like doing good. How about you? Doing you fine. Let me in on that kind of stuff. I'm doing good. No, you misunderstand, Tom. I do not own a candy shop. These men call me boss because I am important and strong, and they look up to me. Boss, B O S S. P-A-S-S! -S. So you're actually a giant fish! To be honest with you, Tao is more impressed by that than the candy thing! Re replace the, the A with an O. Now, men, what is the emergency? There's no time to explain! Please, just come outside with us, boss! Wow, just wow. Yeah, Tao's kind of, um... She lacks some points in intelligence. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Tao? Is there a fire at the barn? That guy smells like trouble. Sight of him makes me remember lots of bad stuff. Hmm. How perceptive you are. It is true. That man is known as Falconheim, and he is a cruel, heartless magistrate who controls this town from the shadows. <laughs> what? <Well, I, laughs> really? Do you mean Falconheim the villain in this ending? Really? Wait, Tao, you know politics? Mm -hmm. 
Wait, why do you know Tao? You, you literally lack points in intelligence. How do you know politics stuff? <laughs> I'm still concerned that the first thing I heard when I joined was I'm waiting for the booby lady. Yeah, that's Lychee Fei Ling. She's one. She's the doctor. And one of the characters you play in um, the game. Um, Tao's looking for her because um, she has an injured friend and. When the assistant told Tao that, oh, like, Lychee's out on an errand, like, um... You can, like, try to go look for her, and you're given, like, two text boxes. The first one is, like, okay, I'll go out and go look for Booby Lady. Or, you pick the second one, which is, I'll just wait here. Which leads to the, um, funny ending. What? Are, Are you sure? sure? I thought he was all creepy. But it was just Tao's imagination, meow! But more important than that, being all intimidating and stuff really made me thirsty! Tao wants something sweet to drink! He knows politics. <laughs> what, what the deviling is this? A bevy of beautiful women walking toward us with basketfuls of tapioca in their hands! Tapioca? Boba, really? Boss! This is the emergency we were telling you about earlier. That damn Falkenhain has monopolized every tapioca manufacturer in town. Now no one can make tapioca milk. Wait, Momopoly? Everyone in the village is thirsty. It's Momopoly. Anyone who ate a meat bun, <laughs> sesame ball, or mooncake wasn't able to quench their extreme thirst afterward and ended up choking to death. First politics and now Momopoly. <laughs> what? I cannot let him get away with this! I will not let him get away with this! Yes, now you understand my rage, my pain! We must fight for what is right, with the power of togetherness! Tapioca is for everyone! Ow! Well, actually, tapioca is only for Tao, and he can't go hogging it all like that! I, I think Tao's on fire! I can feel your burning passion, Tao. And I like what I feel. It feels great. All right. Our minds are one, and our bodies strain for action. Are we ready? Yes, sir! sir! You won't get away with this, villain. For tapioca! For justice! For love! Uh, all of this for Bulba, really? <laughs> Give me back my Allow me to assist you. A dignified voice echo across the square. And who, pray tell, are you? My name is Tsubaki. I'm the magistrate who protects this town. Protect? Then your job is the same as his! Meow! Please do not compare me to this scruffy gentleman. <laughs> oh, wow. Scruffy? Perhaps. But do we not share the same devotion? At least she's to nice justice? about it. Most people just call Bing scruffy well, man. <laughs> I suppose. Then we are comrades. Comrades in justice! Let us go punish the cruel Magistrate Falkenhain together! Oh, cruel magistrate punished. Oh, how I love the sound of those words. I never thought my secret fetish for period adventure films would ever be satisfied, let alone like this. <laughs> oh, they really let Tsubaki relax in this ending. <laughs> I am so excited. Red lady, what are you mumbling about? And why are you all red and sweaty all of a sudden? Uh, nothing at all. Anyway, they really did let Sabaki like relax in this punishing. ending. <laughs> Just normally a hard ass, but I guess they decided to do that. <laughs> oh god, why does it seem like that turned her on? I don't know. I guess she's says. I guess she's like, man, finally a break from work. I can finally like chill out. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, are you? 
I am the hero of Kagutsuchi, Bang Shishigami. I'm, I'm one, one of his followers. followers. Oh, wow. We all talk. And I'm, uh, Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, Robin but Hood. You don't have a hood, silly. You've got a hat. Meow. Robin hat. <laughs> Robin hat? Well, I suppose that's okay. Oh, wow. Together, we are the friends of justice. With the power of love and togetherness, we destroy evil wherever it rears its ugly head. Were you taking a nap just now, Shorty? No. Belkenheim stole something that was very important to me. What? Outrageous! That's terrible! I was heading to his castle to get it back, but... Oh, the thought of going all alone just terrifies me. So you just passed out now, because you I were scared? I met a kindred spirit. Shorty is just a little wuss who <laughs> was paralyzed with fear. <laughs> wow, Tao, really? You, you're just gonna roast the, the, boy, the guy like that? <laughs> really? Was it really necessary to be so harsh? But... That is exactly the case. I'm sorry. No need to be ashamed, little boy. The best time to be embarrassed is when you feel embarrassed. One learns to fight through the embarrassment. Thank you, strange middle-aged man. Strange middle-aged man. Middle-aged man? No, Shorty, you've got it all wrong. Scruffy man. Scruffy, man. scruffy gentleman. Middle-aged man. Um, Bing so, is just suffering from the nickname. Even though the the thing is, is that he's not even Watch middle-aged to begin boy. with. He's like in his early thirties, <laughs> at most. <laughs> How could you say those things about such a great man? Sure, our boss is scruffy. Actually, we don't even know Super the ages of the characters. Fact, I remember some people are like, maybe. Exterior lies the burning passion of a man among men. Damn straight. Like, He's scruffy in a way no other man is or can <laughs> like be. Like he's in his twenties or something, L early thirties, uh, uh, around uh, that okay, range. Okay, man, I think that's enough. I know you mean well, but words can hurt. Joking aside, what did Falconheim take from you? The scroll of Odin. What? <laughs> what? Huh? The scroll of Odin. Oh, you mean Odin? I didn't know he had a scroll. No, I mean Odin, the Japanese hot pot dish. Is that a problem? Oh, uh, Odin. No, that's just fine. Odin. <laughs> yes, scroll of Odin it is. Odin scroll, eh? Boss, don't you think this kid's a little suspicious? Hmm. He's definitely suspicious. It's Odin for God's sake. What's wrong with Odin? Makes no sense. Odin is he delicious. Come on. Could he be one of the magistrate? I mean, Falconheim's men? No, no way. Oh. Tao, halt! You must stop! Tao! We're going to kick the crap out of Falconheim right now! Oh my. Yep, it seems like Tao just decides to recruit Carl without so, everyone's consent. <laughs> this is Falconheim's castle, is it? How ominous. Looming over Tao's and the others was a huge black castle that has encircled by a deep mount. It seemed to threaten the party as if it was some kind of monstrous, dangerous creature with a huge, with huge buck teeth. Is this a Japanese castle? There's no way to get into this castle without being spotted by Valkenheim, boss. What are we gonna do? I mean, you're a ninja. You can probably find a way to get in. <laughs> Or does Leela Jenkins it? 
This game seems to have a lot, a lot of dialogue. Yeah, it's, it's practically a visual novel. Like, okay, it's a fighting game, yeah, but it has a heavy emphasis on the story, and I do mean a very heavy emphasis, to the point that there's a lot of dialogue. And there are times when when you look at the total playtime for the story mode, you're gonna punch around like 20 hours at most. Just going through all the dialogue and going through all the endings. She, she jumped the fence? She even headbutted her way through the main gate! She... She's, she's crazy! crazy. That was madness, Tao. But I liked it. Such spirit! Just wait until we get to the later game scope, because the game I'm playing right now, it's the second game of the Blaze Blue um, series. The third and fourth game, those games are really long. Like, the story mode is long, to the point that I would argue that if you were to combine the third and fourth game together, the total playtime would be like... Probably... Now that you mention it, it did feel somewhat easier with the than hours. The usual exploits. Like around that oh range. Oh my gosh! What is it, Master Carl? Isn't that tapioca lying on the ground over there? Crazy, I was crazy once. Looking, um, looking over in the direction Carl was pointing his finger, there are several tapioca plants lying on the ground. They look glossy and give out a sweet scent. Yes, there can be no doubt that this is indeed tapioca! Oh, they smell so good, Meow! They're mine! Mine, I tell you! No. The one to rescue this poor, abandoned tapioca must be the responsible adult in our party. Wait! Wouldn't that Tao be Subaki? Mr. Bang! I think she's the most responsible out of the two of you. Because she actually knows how to do her job. <laughs> what? Huh? A cage fell on us, meow! Damn, it's a trap. Where are you, fiend? Show yourself, you coward! And look, it's Ada. Uh. <laughs> Welcome, peasants, to my castle. Falcon Han just came out of the dark. I wonder if he knows any card tricks. Wait, they literally put Valkenheim inside of so Carl's um Congratulations, doll. Carl <laughs> really? Well That's actually funny. <laughs> Please don't mention it, Valkenheim, sir. Pulling these mental midges was much, much easier than taking candy from a baby. Not that I've ever done that before or anything. <laughs> Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah. I knew it. Villain. Traitor. It is a really nudge, us. nudge, wink, wink because, like, yes, the context right. of the doll is that that's his older sister. That is Carl's older, older sister. And the fact sure that an old man came out of his older sister is kind of um makes you kind of laugh when you like try to dig about the context or you say it out of context. You're like, wait. <laughs> My goodness, madam. Such an outburst? Whatever is the matter? You seem terribly... distraught. Bush, yep. <laughs> My love of period adventure films cannot allow this to pass. I demand that you retake your previous line! Oh. <laughs> previous line? Yes! You're doing it all wrong! You need to say something like, How diabolically evil of you, Carl. Truly, our villainy knows no Oh bounds. my god! And then he's, you need to laugh! He's a nerd! Huh? 
She's a, she's like a, she's a, she's literally like a Dieter nerd. You have something to give him? Huh? Something to give? Uh, the box of sweets! You need to give him the bright yellow box of sweets! He's a literal, yeah, oh my god. You have candy, shorty! The Valkyrie's like, no, 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 no! You're supposed to do this and that. You need to follow the script. <laughs> I don't have any candy on me. Huh? You can't lie to me. Are you trying to hog them? What? Is this true, Carl? Huh? You too, Valkenhain, sir? I simply cannot let this pass, you know. After all, it is my dream, nay, my calling, to acquire every single candy in the world. No, every single snack, pastry, and sweet. All for my lady, that she may have the perfect tea time. <laughs> if you have no candy, then you must die. <laughs> so I guess they made Rachel the overarching yes, uh, antagonist. <laughs> Valkenheim is just the um. Is this a subordinate? Yes, I am. Will that be a problem? Meow! I will stop you, no matter who has to die. If you're going to be a jerk like that, then Tao has no choice but to beat you like a candy hoarding drum. <laughs> Foolish creature. Has the cage in which you are encased somehow escaped your notice? There is nowhere for you to go. Meow! Quiet, you! When Tao says she'll do something, it gets done! Well, just well, no candy equals die. I mean, candy is great. <laughs> well, okay, granted, it depends on the candy, but like, I just like sweets in general, so I can understand why. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is, is that even a thing? Out of nowhere, the Takioka plants beyond counting appear and begin at attaching themselves to Tao's body. <laughs> oh, look at that, she's I just glowing. The Tapioca has evolved into Tapioca! Happy <laughs> you just extended the O! Tapioca? No, this can't be! It's impossible! Has this child from the Kaka clan become the Tapioca Queen? W wait, someone please tell me what is going on. This, this roll of a bang. Oh, I see. It all makes perfect sense now. Tao Kaka. I knew I'd heard the name before somewhere. Yes, Tao Kaka was named after Tapioca. Like any other living creature, Tapioca has been evolving over thousands of years. The culmination of that evolution is Tao Kaka herself. So, everything is, is just connected to Tapioca. So everything is just boba. Is that means Tao humans Kaka? are made of boba. Damn, if I don't act quickly, all of the Tapioca will be absorbed by Tao Kaka. I mean the Tapioca Queen. But before that... You must die, Tapioca Queen. Take this special... Valkenheim Ball! Ball! Normal Pokemon Evolution names. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Watch out. Get away we are from Boba. There. Yep. <laughs> Boba, <laughs> tapioca pearls burst forth from Tao's now indestructible yet tasty body and peppers Carl and pierces deep into his body. Oh! Next up, super tapioca 
This is a mirror storm. This is a mirror storm made from Boba. Oh, it turns out that it was just them proposing a movie. <laughs> no, I'm waiting for Miss Lychee and and oh, oh no! <laughs> they're just they're just waiting for Miss Lychee. They're sitting in the clinic, just waiting, just proposing random movie ideas. <laughs> And we have finished Tao's story. We got all her endings. Yep, complete. Let's see, the only people next are... Noelle, Rachel, Carl, and then Bang. The Noelle one is going to take me a while because that one has multiple endings. I mean, like, more endings than usual, I meant. That one ha- Let's see, Noelle has- If I remember correctly, hers is four endings. Rachel is three, so that one's a short one. Bang, um... What was Bang? Hold on. Bang is also three, so that one's pretty easy to do. Coral is... Also three. All right. So we have these three, which are pretty short to do. I kind of want to do bangs because this bad ending is actually easy to pull off. Good job on completing Tal's storyline. Thank you, Moon. Yeah, it didn't took us that long, actually. It's only like an hour and... um. Miss Lychee, leave this to me. You must run. What was it? An hour and 42 minutes. Not bad. Oh yeah, Scope. This is Booby Lady. It's Miss Lychee right here. She's the doctor. And from what I'm judging where we're at, this is probably giving us a small recap of his ending in the first game. But I can't possibly do that. I can't just run away and leave you to your fate. You must. I will be fine. Whatever happens to me is nothing, so long as I have protected you from harm. No, I won't leave your side. Miss Lychee, this is no time to act like a child. Then I will wait for you. Always remember, I will be waiting. I promise I will return. Wait for me, my love. Until the end of time. But promise me, promise me that you will come to me! Here I come! In the name of the woman I love, I fight on! So, that's exactly what happened. Meow. Well, at least that's what I... I did like how she said, I think that's wow. what happened, because that's now, you know not completely day. accurate when you do Bang's story. Wow, have you ever met the <laughs> like, the only accurate part was, there? like, Bang telling Lychee to go. Yep, he's really scruffy. But the rest I of it, like, you know, oh, I will really always be waiting for you and whatnot. She didn't say that at all. She so thanks Bang for, like, letting her escape. Bang was the scruffiest of the with, scruffy. like, 
injured people That's while Bangda stays yeah. behind like to buy her Even more time. Scruffy man is looking after each and every one of us. Just look up into the sky and you'll see him smiling down in benediction. Wait, now. is that Tao's children? Um, they are Kaka kittens. They're pretty much the kids of the Kaka clan. So where we're at is Tao's home village. It's home to a species of cat people called the Kakas. These are just like kittens that she got along with. They're not her like actual kids. And this Everyone? image was actually, um, to in the previous game as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, look at these kittens. They're just doing their bang cosplay. And they're just posing like Jojo. <laughs> What's wrong? You should know. You don't think he'll be stuck in that bed forever, do you? Okay, I was don't about say to say that. what I miss, Lo. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that. Yeah. Hey. What's wrong? Did did he just move? Knock it off! You're just messing with me. I'm serious. Look. Let's see. <sighs> Oh look, he's alive. Shishikami Bang. I am reborn. <laughs> I apologize for making you wait, my friend. But now the ultimate ninja has been resurrected. Also, I'm gonna do a quick BRB break. I'm just gonna get me some water. Boots. He's alive, yes, he's alive. Look at him. <laughs> A energetic as usual, but yeah, I'll BRB real quick. Course, I'm gonna get me some water. I've never felt better, and my legs are just fine. Oh, oh, yeah, that's our boss. Death means nothing to you. Indeed. Well, in all honesty, I uh, don't remember much. I was close to death, you say? Yes, you were. There was a huge explosion big enough to blow up part of a mountain, and it tossed you pretty far. To be honest, we gave you pretty much every medicine we could find around here. What? what? I... I feel terrible. I thought I was down in the lowest levels of Kagutsuchi. Did you bring me here? If only we'd been a little faster. Boss, I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing for? I should be apologizing to you. I can never thank you enough. We'll follow you forever, boss! Ha! Huh. Well, I can't just go back to sleep. I'm sorry to interrupt, Lord Bang, but maybe you should rest a little more. No, never. The city needs me. The pain its fair citizens must be going through now is far greater than mine. How can I rot in bed while others suffer? Not I. Not Bang Shishigami! All right, You're amazing, back. Lord Bang! The best! If there's Picked anything up we party. can do, yep. boss, <laughs> just let us know! Oh, you're making me blush. Huh? Is something wrong, boss? I sense something. A presence I've not felt. What? It must be coming from the shadows yonder. You, in the hood? What is this feeling? A girl and a boy? There are two. Where is the other one hiding? Oh, they're gone. Boss, that was amazing! You could tell all that just from their presence! Once one can read the flow of the wind, it is easy. Perhaps they were assassins sent by my enemies? 
I could be wrong, but uh, maybe they were fans? What? Fans? Yes! Maybe they heard you'd been hurt and wanted to see if it was true. Fans? Fans, you say? <laughs> well, I suppose that can't be helped. That's right, boss! Wow! That's so cool! I wish we had some, too! Oh, no, no, no. You're making me blush again. But no, there is only room for one in the heart of Bang Shishigami, and that one is Miss Lychee. I am sorry, but I cannot return their feelings. Lord Bang, you are so faithful. Truly, you are a man among men. That being said, however, as a man of Ikaruga, I know that it is forbidden to encourage misplaced desire. A true man must be silent and lead by example. Now it is time for Bang Shishigami to return to the streets of Rodengai. Crime must not go unpunished. Yeah! Stay safe, boss! Hooah! I see everyone is hard at work. Excellent. Now, what shall I do? Let's go. Persona 3 Reloaded releases tomorrow. Oh, how wonderful. I don't know if I'm going to buy the game right away because I don't really have the money yeah. on me. Of course. I'll probably buy it later on. All I can do is protect what I can with my own two hands. I apologize for making you wait. I have arrived to help. Boss? Is that you? What might be an injury for a normal man is but a scratch to Bang Shishigami, the greatest of all ninja. That wood looks heavy. Here, allow me to carry it in your stead. Oh no, and I can't let you hold that! Huh? What do you mean by that? We've gotten this far on our own, boss. We appreciate your help, but there are other things that need to be done. Things only you can do. Things only I can do. That's right. It's going please, to be free on Xbox Game Pass. Master. I don't have Game Pass. I don't Boss. even own an Xbox. But <laughs> leave this to us. It's not right that you should protect us forever. The world needs you, boss. Boss! Such determination. Your passion burns like a fire in my heart. <laughs> yes, I shall leave this task to you. I... I go to save the young master. Yeah, leave it to us. Stay safe, Lord Bang. Please, be careful. Oh, look at that. Then They're all hyping him up. For now. They're all hyping him up Until for his I journey. Return. What nice subordinates. Alright, need to save. Let's overwrite this one. I cannot fail. My men depend on me. I must bring back the young master. However, if I am to find him, I must have that most deadly of the ninja's deadly tools. Information. The path will no doubt be difficult, but I will walk it with pride and passion. I can visit those who may know the whereabouts of the young master, or I can travel about and hope to pick up information along the way. One or the other, I must choose. All right, we're gonna do this bad ending first, which is like very easy to do. We just have to press this one. That's it. 
Just press this one, and we're in the bad ending. At last, I have arrived at the library, but it seems there is no one here. What does this mean? Hmm. I sense... A dangerous villain with a legendary bounty! Ragna the Bl... The Blurred... No matter. It is Ragna! Where is he going? A man would confront him and ask, but I think perhaps it would be best to simply follow him for now. He always moves straight ahead. There is no doubt, no hesitation to his movements. A villain, perhaps, but what a man! What could he be after? He's taken the elevator? What does this mean? What could lie beyond the elevator? Ah, oh, what am I doing? This is no time to think. This is the time to act! At last. What a long trip. Where am I? Blast. You're in the gate. I've lost sight of that villain, Ragna. This place? How dreadful. Hmm. I have no choice but to use the art of the Seven League Step and examine every corner of this dismal pit at the speed of light. Whoa! I think it is high time. I found something. Huh? That? Brother! You can't! You mustn't! Jin, I don't know what you're thinking, but I decide my own path. What I do is none of your goddamn business. Yeah. Brother! I won't run or hide. Don't worry, I'll deal with you later. Oh look, it's Jin. The Yandere Bro Brother Con. Brother! Damn it! If I could only move my leg! And who in the hell are you? You! You are Jin Kisaragi! Yes, I know my own name, thank you. I don't have time to waste on you. You... you don't even remember me. What the hell are you talking about? Why should I remember you? Jin Kisaragi, I have the heart of a warrior. But try as I might, it is cold to your plight. What? You may be injured, but I cannot stay my blade. I will take revenge for my master. Really? You're gonna kick a you're gonna kick a man down when he's already down? Really? Really, Bang? Come on, man. I know you're you're doing it for revenge, but still. <laughs> the will paid its turning. Rebel one. Action. Counter. Pulverizing fist. There you go. Special. Oh, it's this game. Yeah, Blaze Blue. It's a fighting game. 
Your murderous rampage ends here, demon. My oh. master will be avenged. Oh my god. <laughs> Jin looks so dead. Like, his eyes look so dead. I mean, he's injured, yeah, but man, Jin just looks like he just died in the inside. God. <laughs> pain my master felt. The pain of the people of Ikaruga. I can still feel it. This is not enough to avenge their loss. Even if it means I must become a villain myself. I will destroy you! Huh? Who dares? Oh, it's a mysterious person. I wonder who this is. I, I know who it is. <laughs> you. You can't. This can't be the choice you wish to make. Not here. But I... Please. Yes. You are right. This is... This is not the sort of man I am. I apologize. I don't know who you are, but I see now. What? Uh, it doesn't matter now. It appears that I was too late. What? What madness is this? Unstable continuum shift confirmed. System time paradox error noted, filed. System will now transfer to phase number 729. Forcing continuous phenomenon reset now. Wh what is this voice? Is, is this God? Huh? The world? Reset sequence initiated. We'll re-establish system contact after reset. One of the many possibilities of the continuum shift. Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Oh look, it's help me, Professor Kokonoe! Greetings, lost children. Oh yeah, Scope, since you just got here, um, basically, whenever you get the bad ending on any of the character stories, you be sent to this place called Help Me Professor Coco Noe, where essentially, um, Coco Noe, which is the, the character we're saying right now, it will give you advice how to unlock that character's true ending. And there's a lot of fourth wall breaking, there's a lot of memes, there's a lot of back and forths that actually fits well with the character personalities and whatnot. Overall, it's just like a really cool neat bonus. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Master Coco Noe! Who the hell are you? I just met you and you're already trying to be a kiss ass? Guess you're as loud and obnoxious as the rumors say. Anyway, the exit's over there. 
Wait, wait, wait! Surely fate has brought us together here. I feel it is fate that we have met. Surely I've satisfied the conditions. Are you hitting on me? Oh, that's... Wow. I, I can't even find the words. You think you're some sort of ladies' man, huh? No, 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 no! You are mistaken. I would never do such a thing. So you're gonna talk about how this is fate and then try and take it back? Th that was just an expression! He just gets louder the more I screw with him. I almost feel sorry for Lychee now. Ah, yes. By the way, I like pineapple on my pizza. Wait, what? <laughs> really? Really, Kokodoi? Really? I didn't expect that. Oh my. What? Oh, and I like to put raisins in my dry curry. Ew. Why would you do that? That's even that's even worse than pineapple on pizza. Wait, why would you do that? That's not food. What would you do if Lychee made stuff like that for you? I would eat it and then commit seppuku to preserve my honor. Honestly, I don't blame you, Bang. I, I don't blame you if that was the case. Well, I guess you're sort of a man. Well, yeah. Wait, <laughs> What? Raises and God, dry curry? Wild. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> I found my revenge. Why am I here? Oh. Well, you probably flipped the switch. The switch? Yeah. You've twisted time into some kind of nasty temporal pretzel. You can't kill the hero, dumbass. When you say hero, surely you don't mean Jin Kisaragi. This man is no hero. Why, he is little more than a cold-blooded killer! Yeah, I know his personality isn't, uh, the greatest. But he is the hero of this game. If he dies, then the Black Beast's worst enemy dies. Hmm. Then when shall I defeat him? Not my problem. Oh. Oh, hey, while we're talking about character and personality and stuff, you did do something bad. Something bad? What did I do? You hit a guy when he was down. Oh, yeah. That was pretty dirty, but I guess that's what I should expect from a ninja. This... this is just a misunderstanding. I... I got so frustrated. I'd been chasing him for so long. I just couldn't stop myself. So, you admit it. I'm sorry. Ugh. All you had to do was apologize right at the beginning. Anyway, attacking a man while he's down isn't really like you, is it? How right you are, Master Kokonoe. I shall take your words to heart. Good, so long as you understand. If you come here again, I'm gonna send a whole bunch of ice cream and french fries to Ronan Guy. No. Please. Anything but that! What's wrong with french fries? And ice cream. I mean, ice cream is great. French fries, it depends on how you make it. As long as you don't make it too salty, then all is good in the world. But yeah, we got his bad ending. Look at that. That was so simplistic. All we have to do is look for Jin, beat him up, and then we got the bad ending. <laughs> Alright, now we need to go do his um, true ending route. I must scatter intelligence at once. You can save over that. All right. I have many people counting on me. I cannot let them down. The surest path to the young master will be to gather information around town. I have heard that on the bottom levels of Kagutsuchi, one can obtain information that is otherwise unavailable. Then I shall start from the bottom and work up. The most bottom... best... location I know of would be... Hmm... Yes... The Kaka Village! The Kaka Village it is! Away!
<laughs> Thanks to my knowledge of the art of the Seven League Step, this distance is nothing. I wonder, is there anyone around? I sense a few presences. Aha! I see my fan has followed me. An admirable child. I cannot fault them for becoming fascinated with me. The great and handsome Bang Shishigami! A child matures by learning from a man. Yes, child. Take a good look. Learn from this man! At that moment, not a presence suddenly flare into views. Heading straight for a bang with great speed. Huh? This is... Just as I thought. Tao, is that you? You are an excellent disciple to come and greet your master. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now get me some food! What? You haven't come here to greet your master? Well, Meow, I did come as soon as I heard you were here. <laughs> what a cute and responsible dis... Anyway, give me food, Meow! Tao's hungry! Classic town. Um. Hmm. I don't remember what I had to do for this one. Hold on. I think it's the first choice. The second choice is the funny ending. So we had to do the first one. Oh my! You are quite a handful. Very well. I yield. You're going to give me some? Meeting here must have been fate. For you see, I too am hungry. Yes, let us go and get food. Yay! That's why I like you so much, scruffy guy! <laughs> the life of a popular and handsome man is a difficult one. Come along. I don't really follow what he's going on about. But he looks happy, Meow! And when he's happy, Tao gets free food! Ha <laughs> ha! You are too kind. You make your master proud. Okay! Meow! That was good! Whoa, I can't eat anymore! You ate twice again as much as I. Truly, your appetite is awe-inspiring. I'm not feeling too hot right now. Usually, I'd eat way more than this. I suppose I was lucky then. If you were feeling better, then my wallet would surely have taken a beating. Anyway, thanks for the food, Scruffy Man. I suppose now I must watch my spending for a while. Huh? Thank you very much for dining here. Your bill. Ah, yes, of course. I just... Huh? What the... Wait, how much is it? Is something the matter? Uh, um... Uh, no. Uh, nothing whatsoever. <laughs> uh, nothing. Tao. Tao! What's up, Meow? Uh, Tao... Do you know where my wallet is? Oh, he lost his wallet. wallet. What's a wallet? You did drop something in the street as we were coming here, but I thought you were just littering. Oh you no. Scruffy and all. What? Tao, why didn't you say something? Tell you what, Meow? Was that wallet thingy important? Are you mad? Without my wallet, I cannot pay! Oh boy. Sir, is there a problem? <laughs> um, you see... I lost my wallet. Oh dear. Please don't tell me you ordered that much without a way to pay for it. Did you? Oh boy. Scruffy man said he lost his wallet! Meow! Ugh. Why you, why you shout that out? <sighs> I, Bang Shishigami, will neither run nor hide. A man takes responsibility. 
Since I have lost my wallet, then I must pay you with my body. Very well, manager. You may do what you like with my body, but I beg of you, be gentle. Bang, are you sure you don't want to rephrase that? <laughs> what? Here, I am yours. Take oh, me! Oh, well. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're, gonna, me. We're, we're gonna go that me. direction. <laughs> All right. Sis, I'm feeling a little hungry. Why don't we stop here and get something to eat? Hey, it's Carl. That's a great idea. Let's split a meat pun. What are you waiting for? Do what you will with me. I am ready. Bang, Shishigami will do what you wish. Ah, uh, the double on tangents. Yeah! Huh? Hey, it's Shardy. What's up? Oh, it's Miss Kitty. Hello. Um, what exactly is going on? You have saved me from humiliation. I promise that someday I will repay you. Scruffy man, you'd better repay him! This is your fault. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I won't miss it. I'm not one to spend that much money. What a kind junior disciple you are. <laughs> oh, Scruffy man, whatever are we going to do with you? Meow! How can you say such a thing? No matter, we must retrace our steps to the Kaka village and find my wallet. I still have gathered no useful information. Works for me! Ah, yes, Carl. You were kind enough to pay for my food, and I wish to pay you back. Would you care to join us on this exciting adventure? Um, really, don't worry about the money. And for the adventure part, I think I'll... Come now, a child must enjoy life. You must come with us. Yes, be one of us, Carl. Uh, one, second, of us. one of us. One of us. It has been too long since my disciples were gathered together. What a happy day this is. Oh, man. I just can't say no to him. Sorry about this, sis. Is it okay if we humor him for a while? I get it. I am sorry, though. Ha ha! Alright. Time to save. I'm gonna write this. I am relieved to have found my wallet. Master Carl, I apologize for the trouble. It's okay. Seriously, you didn't need to pay me back. Oh, no, no, no. Even if you are my disciple, I must do things the right way. <laughs> Meow! Scruffy Man, you truly are just useless! Oh... Uh... Yes. Tao? Is the village elder available right now? Eh? I think she's around, Meow. Why? I, uh, had a question. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, wait a minute. It seems that someone is loitering over there. Not loitering. Surprising. They're still following me. Do you know who it is? Nothing. You needn't worry. That child is simply my fan. Fan? What's a fan, Scruffy Man? If they're a fan, shouldn't you go over there and talk to them? I would like to, but... Oh, that was a loud that meow. meow. Go after her. Ha! Hey, Zarakune. Hey, Mr. Squiggly. Hand over the little ones. Meow. 
Tao, are you all right? I remember this thing. He... it has a rather sizable bounty on its head. It's the squiggly meow! He came back to attack the village again! That was so scary! Do not worry, kitten. Bang Shishigami is here. Everything is going to be all right. I don't understand your words, foul creature. But you have harmed a child. This shall not. This cannot stand. Prepare right. for justice. Time Prepare for, bite. for bang. The will of fate is turning. Rebel one, action! That's where you go. Counter. That's where you go. Destroy. Just Counter. That's where you see. Go. Counter. Counter. I'm back. Counter. Counter. He did so much damage on me. Get out of here! Yay! You guys are awesome! Haha, <laughs> that was easy. They make it sound like it was nothing, but these people are pretty strong. I feel kinda out of my league, but. Master Bang? Miss Kitty? I have a favor to ask of you two. Huh? What is it? Favor, Meow? Actually, I wish to get inside the NOL. The library? For what possible reason? I've been separated from my father for a long time, and he's at the NOL. I've really been wanting to see him again. Oh. Do you think you can help me he out? He's kind of bullshitting because yes, it's true he's been separated by his father, and he does want to see him, but it's for a um, not so the innocent honor reason. Of a man, but the body of a child, of course. I, Bang Shishigami, will aid you in this task. It sounds like it could be fun, meow. Consider Tao in. Thank you very much. All right, where do I save? Um, I don't think I need this one anymore, so we can just replace that. I really appreciate your help. Having the two of you with me is reassuring. In truth, I had planned to head for the library all along. You needn't worry that you are putting me out. I see. Thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. After all, we're friends. Meow. Eh? Is something the matter, Tao? has had the feeling she's being watched for a while, Meow. For some time, you say? Perhaps it is my fan. You're right. I've had the same feeling for a while, too. I've gotten used to it. 
And seeing as whoever it is hasn't done anything yet, I let my guard down a little. Hmm. Shall we attempt to capture it? Do you think we'll be able to? We defeated a monster only a short time ago. This may be only a child, but we had best play this safe and ensure they have no untoward intentions toward us. Now that that's settled, let me at him! Hell suddenly spins around and sprints at all, <coughs> on all four towards her intended target. Pal suddenly advances, startles the hooded child, who begins to run to the opposite direction. Why are you running away? Capture that child! Uh, oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's Platinum yeah! Trinity. Stop right there! Whoa, Miss Kitty sure is fast. Oh yeah, Pal's like the fastest character in the game. I caught it. <laughs> Good work, Tao. I'll be right there. Here you go. Meow. Now, Tao, where is this child you've captured? Come again? I don't see any child. Uh, Master Bang, you might want to look down. Much farther down. Eh? What's wrong, Tao? Well, wow, oh. so short. Oh, so there you are, you little scamp. You're so small, I didn't see you. My apologies. We didn't intend to scare you, but... The path we walk is a dangerous one. It was imperative that we determine whether or not you were an enemy. Don't touch Luna, you lumbering, unwashed jerk! Huh? <sighs> To be captured by them, it's like a dagger to Luna's soul. Hey, that's actually pretty poetic. I think I'll jot that down real quick. Scribble, scribble. <sighs> this might be a case of too little, too late, seeing as how you already caught me. But Luna is here because someone asked me to follow you. Uh, uh... But Luna isn't suspicious at all. Nope, totally, completely harmless. Well, mostly harmless. Mostly harmless, that sure. Sounds even more suspicious. Mm. Ugh, let me try this again using short, simple words. I was going to talk to you earlier, but all of a sudden this flea bag started charging me and I got scared. Hey, are you even listening? I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? Huh? What are you talking about, old man? Um, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Even if you are a fan of the Great Bang Shishigami, this sort of place is dangerous to a child on their own. Do you even listen to her, my man? Old man, will you please listen to Luna? You needn't worry about a thing. Now, where are your parents? I will take you back to them. They don't have Luna any. doesn't have any parents! Listen to me, you senile old fool! What? How terrible! Master Bang? You poor child. Our meeting here must be nothing less than destiny. Tell me, how would you like to live in Ronin God? Oh, God, no. So certain? <laughs> hmm. I see. How unfortunate. Well, at least let us take me to the library. The library? I don't think we have time to be reading, Scruffy Man. No. I mean the Librarium. We are on our way there already. Surely they will be able to take custody of you, you poor, lonely child. <sighs> it's like talking to a musty wall. All right, you win. Luna will tag along. Senna, I'm pretty much wiped out. Let's switch for a while. Very well, then. A fellow traveler has joined us. Forward, brave companions. <laughs> Look at that, we got at a new party member. Last, <laughs> the library. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. I don't think that there are even any guards. Is everyone taking a nap, Meow? It doesn't look like anyone's around. We shall see. 
My name is Bang Shishigami. I am an honorable vigilante. I have brought an orphan. Please, open the door. No one's around to answer, it seems. To be so remiss in their duty. Oh, truly, these librarians are... What's this? Oh? What's wrong now? It has... opened. Oh! Cow's luck saves the day again! Meow! Does that mean we can go in? Doesn't this whole situation strike you as a little... odd? It's not only dead quiet, but the door is unlocked. I think everyone here just seems a bit too careless on the part of the NOL. Standing here will accomplish nothing. Fortune favors the bold. We advance. I have no doubt there will be someone inside who can assist this poor orphan. Hmm. Cow's here! Meow! <sighs> Luna's got a bad feeling about this. We've gone quite far, and yet... No one is here. You're right. I highly doubt that every single person here would be out on break at the same time. I was right! Everyone must be taking naps now! Lucky people! Meow. Hello? Is there anyone here? Huh? Sis? Hey there, Shorty! Something wrong? Sis, you found it, haven't you? Okay, I understand. Let's get going. Meow? Hold your horses there, Shorty! Where are you going? Wait up, Meow! Cow wants to go too! Ah, where are the two of you going? Wait! Wait! Huh? I'm sorry, but I don't have time to... I've been waiting until we were alone before making my presence known. Please, just hear me out. Oh look, it's Trinity! Who are you? I don't have much time. Please, just stay quiet and listen to me. Then you... You were the third presence I felt. So you noticed. At first, I sensed only two, but I couldn't be certain. Still, here you are. My name is Trinity. Platinum the Trinity. Trinity? Then, are you Trinity of the Six Heroes? The Nox Nictoris that we possess is known as Muchorin. I myself slumber within it, and as such, my existence for the time being is tenuous at best. I will not be able to speak with you much longer. S sleeping within the Nux, Nictoris? I understand your disbelief, but I haven't the time to explain. Please, please, just listen. My ninja senses tell me that this moment is of great importance. Very well. I, Bang Shishigami, a true man among men, will grant your wish. Thank you. First, your true enemy is not Jin Kisaragi. What? How can you... The enemy you should be focused on is the system of the NOL itself. System? Tenjo's death and the destruction of Ikaruga, the truth goes far beyond the suppression of a single secessionist civil war. You know of my master? What do you know about the war? <sighs> What's wrong? I am sorry. I must leave you. Wait, no. You can't leave. What shall I do? Go after the others and meet them on the roof. There, you should learn of some of the truth. The roof? Yes, I shall go to the roof. And then? 
And you Nox Nectoris, Phoenix Redenjo, can cut the ties to the boundary. My Nox Nectoris? Hey, wait! Wait! <gasps> well, she's passed out. Have you? She has fainted. This child cannot be lying. Oh my, master, young master, I... <sighs> yes, now is not the time for inaction. It is the time for action. Bing li lifts the sleeping platinum onto his back and looks towards the stairs where Kara and Tao have gone. Uh, we're, yep, we're Is gonna find Lemon Hazuma. Oh boy. Oh, another guest. You. We need to beat them. Me. So many strange visitors today. Are you with this trash? With a flick of his butt, Hazuma. Oh, but I didn't read that fast enough. <laughs> Kara slide to a stop in front of Bang where Tao's already lay, nearly unconscious. Scruffy man, I'm sorry. Meow. I lost me. Master Bang. Master Carl. Tao. You! What have you done to them? What did I do to them? Oh, well, what does one do when guests visit? I entertained them. I'm afraid they weren't much in the mood for it, though. How dare you treat my disciples this way? I won't forgive you! Oh, well, to tell you the truth, I don't really like loud people. I'm kind of a quiet guy, you know? The little kid and that stupid cat just wouldn't shut up! So I might have gone a little overboard. You did this because they were making too much noise? Yes. I mean, I thought I explained. I really like my peace and quiet. Besides, the show's just about to start and they weren't, you know, the sort I wanted around for that. No class. This is really kind of a black tie affair, you know? Oh, yes. I am, uh, not too fond of scruffy gentlemen like yourself, either. What do you intend to do, then? Why, I intend to do the same thing to you that I did to them. Very well. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, ho, ho. so you think you're actually good enough to take me on? <laughs> you are an evil man. Bang Shishigami is here to punish you. All right, time to go. Oh, it's regular Hazama, not limited. Right. One action. This is a new Whoa, it's too good. Yeah. Whoa, shoot. Good. Opening. Heavenly rain. Huh? Ah. Huh. Huh. Serpent's benediction. She's coming in. Hidden arms. Oh, God. Volcanic fury.
well for trash. Oh, that was way much easier. Damn. He's mad. He seems so disinterested, but he's tough. What? Something wrong? Hope not. I'm just getting started. I'm not one to complain, but it is hard to fight at my best when protecting... Shaw! Furin Kazan! Ho oh, ho! So that's your secret trick, huh? Pretty nice, I'll admit, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to beat me. Perhaps not, but it is enough to run away. What? Darn it! I got away. Meathead might be a little smarter than I gave him credit for. Eh, whatever. I'll kill them all eventually anyway. Right now, I've got other stuff to do. <laughs> Good job, Bane. We managed to get away. Boss? Yes, I am. I must. I apologize, but I must leave this to you. I see. But you still haven't healed all the way. Thank you for taking care of me. I... I'm finally here. Hello? Is there anyone here? B boss! You're injured, and... Those people! My apologies. I will explain everything later. Can you tend to their injuries? Of course, but... Boss, you're not looking so good yourself. Wounds such as these are nothing to bang, Shishigami! You may tend to me later. I... leave the rest... to you. Ugh. Boss! Boss! I have to say, I'm pretty amazed. How did you carry three people back here with a wound like that? They left as soon as we'd bandaged them up and they could move around. After that fight, they must have seen clearly what their paths were. As have I. Oh, we'll miss you, but I guess there's nothing we can do. Yes. I've decided that my path will lead me to Ikaruga. I hope to find the truth there. Okay. Don't worry, Lord Bang. We'll protect this place, so you'll always have somewhere to come home to. I'll be counting on you, men. Lord Bang! Huh? Is something wrong? You could hurt yourself running so fast. Lord Bang, is it true what they're saying? Are you leaving? Yes, I am sorry. But rest assured, I will be away from you for only a short time. No! Please don't go! Hey! Keep that up, you little brat, and I'll... I must go because I love Ikaruga so. I must go so that I can protect you. But when I am gone, I cannot protect this place. Will you protect our home, my friends, so that one day I can return? Us? But we're not. Don't be so selfish. Look at Lord Bang. He wants to stay here, but he knows he can't. Don't make it harder for him. Yeah, you're right. I'll do my best, Lord Bang. Please come back. Ah, a true citizen of Ikaruga. Now, I must be off. Okay. Take care. We will. Do your best, too. You can leave it to me. Ha-ha! <laughs> Wonderful weather today. A perfect day for Amanda to set out on a journey to Ikaruga. Look at that. <laughs> Another person going on a journey. This time, things going to his own hometown.
that got destroyed in the war. So yeah, we finished that thing. So yeah, we got his true ending. We're almost done. We just had to do his um funny ending. Which one was it? I think it was this one, yeah. I could be wrong. I am relieved to have found my wallet. Master Carl, I apologize for the trouble. Wait, I don't think it was this one. Was it this one? I have many people. There's yeah, this one. Alright, so before I click on the second option, I'm gonna go get myself a snack. So I'll be right back. BRB. All right, I'm back. Right, second. Let us see Bang's gag ending.
What sort of master am I if I do not train my disciples? Today shall be a day of training. Hey, Scruffy Man, wanna play with me? Yay! Well, how about we play tag? See ya, meow! Tao? Scruffy Man, yeah! Ugh, a challenge is a challenge. Be it a duel to the death or a simple game of tag. I, Bang Shishigami, cannot lose. Here I come! Clinic run by my one and only true love, Miss Lychee. Outrageous! What fortuitous circumstance! Fate smiles upon me. I must catch a glimpse of Miss Lychee. But a man cannot call upon his lady love empty handed. Oh, what have we here? A beautiful flower! Perfect! I shall give these flowers to Miss Lychee. Their beauty is but a mere reflection of her own. Tiptoe, tiptoe. I wonder if Miss Lychee will be here. Tiptoe, tiptoe. You there. You look suspicious. But um. What are you doing over there? Are, are you talking to me? Who else would I be talking about? I, I'm not suspicious. I am Bang Shishigami, a vigilante devoted to protecting love and peace in Kagu... Ha! Yeah! An attack without warning? Quiet! You were sneaking around like a pervert! You were clearly trying to peek into that house, and you have the unmitigated gall to suggest you are a vigilante in an attempt to get yourself out of trouble? Oh, let him How let can him you speak. call yourself a man? Huh, despicable. You let him finish Dis his speech. Dis? I, Tsubaki Yayoi, will arrest you in the name of the Novus Orvis Librarium. Wait, this is all a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Yes, I'm not suspicious. Then why were you sneaking around? That is, uh, well, uh, you see, I... You see? You can't answer. You're coming with me, criminal scum. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. I am not a stranger to the woman who lives here. Not a stranger? Yes, that is correct. Then what is your relationship to her? Explain yourself. R relationship? Uh, uh, going uh, out? Sort of. Sort of? Dang, why no, are you no, lying? No. Yes, girlfriend. Miss Light. Dang, come is on. My girlfriend. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't need a lie. Huh? Amazing. I said it. I actually said it. I've always wanted to say those words. <laughs> Miss Lychee and I are going out. Oh, it sounds so wonderful. Uh, come on, Bang. I see. Huh? Why not, um, geez, I don't know. Say, like... Huh? Uh, um... I'm a bit, uh, clueless when it comes to, um, relationships like that. I don't know, like... Did this Tsubaki actually They're like her patient or something? Um, that would make more Tsubaki, sense. You see, what I told you was simply a Kagutsuchi joke. Oh, um, did I get in your way? Oh. Huh? No, Tsubaki. Um, You're uh, so innocent. No, uh, Tsubaki. Uh, rendezvous. That, that is what couples do, isn't it? Rendezvous? Miss Lychee and myself? 
R rendezvous Is that wrong? Did you say you were going out with the woman who lives here? Oh, oh my god. Is something the matter? Thing is on cloud 9. You're crying. Wow. Oh, that is nothing. I was overcome by waves of emotion and was forced to attack my eyelids. Uh, the flowers in your hand. Huh? Is there something wrong with them? Mr. Shishigami! What is it? You've come here to propose, haven't you? Um, he doesn't have a ring. What? What are you saying? Oh, you don't have to be shy. I understand. No, 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 no. Well, those flowers are the legendary proposal flowers that only grow in Kagutsuchi, aren't they? Any girl knows they mean I've come to propose. Wow, how convenient. Why was a flower like that growing here? Oh, you don't need to play dumb with me. You picked them just for her, didn't you? Oh, wow, she's what? really into this, I've this only love talk. this flower in the encyclopedia. I'm sure you must have gone through a lot to get these for her. Uh, um, they just happen to be nearby. This must be a very important day for you. I'm so sorry that I stopped you just before such an important moment. Um. <laughs> Damn. Oh. This is not good. Okay. Oh, Miss Tsubaki has completely misinterpreted the situation. I mean, bang, how you want it? You want to get arrested? Or do you want to, like, I fear that if get arrested later on? Dishonest, this will you get arrested happen. either way. Is something wrong, Mr. Shishigami? My own lie is the cause of this nightmare. I must be a man and tell her the truth. Perhaps she will accept my apology. Mr. Shishigami? Mr. Shishigami! Y yes, Miss Tsubaki? You must be really nervous. I completely understand. Huh? You've come all the way here to propose, but when it actually comes down to saying the words, your heart just won't stop pounding. That's what love is, right? Yes. Uh, yes, it is. You understand. Uh, you understand how I feel. Yes, I do, Mr. Shishigami. Miss Tsubaki. I've decided. Decided what? I'm gonna help you with your proposal, Bang. Wow. What? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go propose! Just gain a friend like that, damn. <laughs> run. Just, just run at this point, my man. Wait! Stop! I cannot go in! Why? I wonder why. Come on! Let's go in and propose! Tell her how you really feel! Wait! Propose! <laughs> She's just vain handling bad. him. Come on. I have no more excuses to give her. I must be honest. Which one of you kids is fixing to propose? Hey, Juve. Uh, Master Juve. Uh, who's this? Ah, just a cat passing by. Well, which one of you is proposing? Bang is going to propose to the lady who lives here. Ho ho ho! Bang and lights, eh? I had no idea you kids were getting along so well. They're going out. Going out, are you? <laughs> Reckon I must be losing my touch if I'm so far behind on the news. <sighs> that smile. You are impressive as always, Master Jubei. You must have seen straight through my lies. I see. You really sure this fella's fixing to propose? You sure he ain't, uh, I don't know, pulling your leg? <gasps> what are you talking about? Of course he's telling the truth, right, Bang? Uh, you see. If you're lying, I'll fillet you like a fish. I can't stand people who lie about matters of the heart. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I'd only do that if you were lying. Well, that's downright uh, terrifying. Good thing he ain't lying. He wouldn't lie about something like this. He wouldn't do that, would you, Bang? Uh, oh, poor Samarki. Of course not. Hogwash. <laughs> A man like Bang Shishigami'd never lie about something like that. I mean, what reason would he have to? That'd be downright stupid. Uh, uh... Of course! I know I'm right! Bang's got the look of a man in love, right? You love lychee, don't you, Bang? Of course! My love for Miss Lychee is more pure than the wind, and more intense than the storm! My passion for her burns with the fire of a thousand white-hot suns! That's... that's beautiful, Bang! D damn I got caught up in the moment. Well, hell, son. If you're that crazy about the lady, I can't rightly just turn my back on you. You gotta succeed. It's the beginning of any relationship that's the most important, you know? The way you talk, you... you have experience in this sort of thing? Well, I reckon maybe I do. You kick around this whole world as long as I have, you pick up a thing or two. What luck! Bang, you should ask him for some advice. Uh, uh my instincts tell me that it will do me little good. Ah, don't be like that, son. Marriage is great! Sure, there'll be bad times, but you're gonna have a bit of time when your daughter hits puberty and, uh, yeah... Still, it's good. Oh wow, Juve's just thinking about his marriage. He's like, it's very helpful. I don't know how don't to describe so, it. Man? I don't want to get my ass kicked by sure. my wife. <laughs> I'm all fired up. Let's get going. We'll call it Project Get Bang Married. Let's go. What is this place? What are we doing? Answer me. Keep your shirt on, son. Take a look. Hey, Scruffy Man! Boss! Wow! Are these all your friends, Bang? I gathered them up to serve as our staff for Project Get Bang Mary. Boss! We just heard the news! You're finally proposing to Miss Lychee? Meow? Bro. Bro. Oh! Tao gets it now! Wait a sec, scruffy guy! You do know that's illegal, right? It, it's a confession of love. Meow? Scruffy man, you still haven't said anything to her? is a reliable source of info on this subject. Meow! Sorry to break it to you, Scruffy Man, but Booby Lady doesn't really think much of you. What? I heard that Bang and Miss Lychee were already going out. Oh, no. Uh, that was just Scruffy Man making stuff. Tao? I will provide you with 30 meat buns to secure your silence. Oh boy. <laughs> Meow? A bride. I will give you 30 meat buns if you keep quiet. He's briding her. Wow. 40. 35. I'll be nice because I like you, Scruffy Man. 37. Oh, how dare a disciple take advantage of her master. V very well. What I said, whatever it was, meow. Scruffy man and booby lady are definitely an item. They're all lovey, kissy face, and well, you know. That's what I thought. Is it ready, Tao? Of course, meow. Uh, what are you talking about? This, Scruffy man.
Master Jubei, what is the meaning of this? Wait, well, if what kind of proposal propose, is this? <laughs> you gotta have fireworks. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Message written across the night sky. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I, Honestly, I see that Just that is kind of that is pretty cool. Heartbeat faster. But at the same time, it's romantic oh, I feel I just feel bad for everyone here because yes, of a of a I white see. of a lie. God. Any woman would be thrilled by a surprise like this. Yes, yes, wonderful. This. Will emblazon your burning passion into Miss Lychee's heart. Yes! If you fire this off, I'm sure it'll impress even the booby lady. This plan is perfect. Beautiful. A real man uses fireworks. A real man is a fortress. Truer words were never spoken. I think the lady of the clinic is waiting for your proposal. That's right. For Miss Lychee, I would walk through fire or swim across the ocean. Really, Meow? Then you'd better stuff yourself into the cannon. Indeed. You're awesome, boss. So daring. You're a true man, boss. Climb on in there, son. Fly into the sky with the fireworks and shout out your feelings. Yes! To the skies! My love shall sound across all of Kagutsuchi! Ooh! Tao, will you be my messenger? Please tell Miss Lychee that tonight at 8 p.m. she must look to the western sky. Got it, Scruffy Man! I'll go and tell her right now! Miss Lychee, please look to the skies. Bang Shishigami, a true man among men, will take a once-in-a-lifetime chance to win your love. Out much better than I expected. I made too much of it, though. Ah, oh, the plight of the single woman, I fear. Well, I'm sure Tao will polish off any leftovers. Tao, do you rem- I don't know it's a good idea to tell Tao to deliver the message. She probably forgot. <laughs> Tao's sleeping so soundly. <laughs> She ran all the way here, then just fell asleep. I wonder what she came here for. Achoo! Excuse me. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Maybe someone's gossiping about me. Well, she didn't see the proposal. Oh well, rest in peace, Bang. All right. So we finished Bang's story. Huzzah! And I noticed that another hour has passed too. So I want to go get myself some water again. Oops! I dropped the mic.
All right, I'm back. Hmm. Let's do Carl. I don't think Carl's gonna make me do anything bad, right? <laughs> I hope. I hope not. Carl's stories, relatives. Let's do his bad ending, and then true ending, and then, um, funny ending. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Let us go. Oh! What is going on with me? My head, it's just been aching so much lately. There's no need to worry, sis. I think it might just be a minor migraine coming on. Seriously, though, don't worry, okay? Nox Nictoris Nirvana, analyzing condition. Sis! Target still active. Resuming destruction routine. Sis! Sis! Stop! Don't you dare touch my sister! Destruction of Nox Nictoris Nirvana. Confirmed. be more tired than I thought. Yeah, that has to be it. Like I said, don't worry about me, sis. You're right. We need to find it as soon as possible. The Azure Grimoire. What's the matter, sis? Isn't that... Ragna the Blood Edge! Wow, sis, you're truly amazing! I guess our luck is in today! I never imagined we'd find the Azure Grimoire so quickly! Wait a second... It appears that Ragna the Blood Edge is not alone! Yeah, that's right, sis. We should probably just hang back and observe for a while. That area over there should be perfect for staying concealed. Come along, sis. I can't be absolutely certain, but it looks like there's only one other person with him. From this angle, I can't say for sure. It is interesting that he vaguely remembers, like, his, um, true ending from the first game. It seems like everyone in this story is vaguely remembering their endings. Okay. Robin of the Blood Edge, I'll let you go this time. But when we meet each other again, it will be as enemies. That voice... Isn't that Miss Noel? Ah, she's gone now. Thank goodness. I guess Lady Luck truly is smiling upon us. Now's our chance. What was that, sis? Why are you so interested in Miss Noel all of a sudden? B but she doesn't have anything to do with this. Our goal is Ragna the Blood Edge. The Azure Grimoire is almost in our grasp. Let's wait for an opening and strike. I wonder what's so important to him. He's left himself wide open, but... Yes, sis, I'm well aware of just how dangerous he is. It's 
very much like watching a lion. And you. I can almost feel your eyes on me. How long do you plan on cowering in the shadows? So, you were able to sense my presence. I'm impressed, Ragna the Blood Edge. You're that kid vigilante. What do you uh, want, It's brat? just like the I opening to, to Ragna's kids. story. <laughs> you may not. However, Mr. Ragna the Blood Edge, I do. Last warning, kid. I'm really not in the mood for this bullshit. If you don't want me to hand you your head, I strongly suggest that you just turn around and walk away. Do you really think that mere words would deter me? Nah, but it was worth a shot. Now, sis, let's defeat Ragna the Blood Edge and get the Azure. Let's get on with this. The will bait is turning. Rebel one. Action. Just start it. Please. <laughs> Going in strong. How's that? Yeah. On top of it. Going in it. Counter. Going in strong. Counter. Counter. Just start it. Counter. Going in strong. On top of it. Going in strong. Ada. Ada. No. Charles play. No. Bravada. Move it. Huh? What? I did the wrong comp. <laughs> I did the wrong input. What did I did? Oh. Oh, it's because. I was facing the right way. Okay. Going in strong! Going in strong! Please, get away! Going in, please! Sis! Counter! Just start with. Keep trying! Not that! Going in strong! Going in strong! Going in strong! Going in strong! You can't say I didn't warn you. It's too late for second thoughts now, you little punk. <laughs> oh, you're very strong. Just as I suspected. I told you from the start what I was gonna do to you. Now scram, kid. You bother me. Sis? Jin? Ow! I still can't do anything without you. Yes, thanks. Nirvana, you bitch. Huh? Ragna the Blood Edge. Help? I have to go after him. I need to take possession of the Azure. Oh, oh. Master Carl? I heard a commotion and came as quickly as I could, but I never expected this. Curses. It seems I was too late. Master Carl, you must hang on. I shall take you to the hospital immediately. You mustn't go toward the light, Master Carl.
All right, let's see. Um, this one. What? You, you mean to say Miss Lychee is not available? Hey, it's like yeah, um. She said that she had something really important to take care of. What do you call it? It's kind of like Tao. Like we go to the and clinic and bang the stairs. He's like, "Oh yeah, cars under." Well, and we're like you trying to. Start by setting him down on the bed over we're trying to look for Miss Light and whatnot. Wow, well, look at that continuity. Oh, thank you, young lady. Hold it right there. Huh? What did you do to little Carl? You, you mean. Me? Who else would I be talking to? Look at the poor boy. He's just one big mass of cuts and bruises. Don't worry, Carl. I'll save you. Wait a second. You misunderstand. That's what they all say. I've heard it all before, criminal. C criminal? No, I speak nothing but the truth. Honesty runs in my veins. Excuse me, miss? This man is telling the truth. You are? I am Linwa, Dr. Lychee's assistant here at the clinic. Bang was the one who brought this child in. You don't seem to be lying. Or appear threatened, for that matter. I'm sorry, it's just that... Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> so long as the misunderstanding is understood. But to call me a criminal... How could you think such a handsome young man of Ikaruga could be a criminal? Hmm? Did you say something? <coughs> uh, nothing. Anyway, we should be helping Carl right now. The, yes, that we should. Let's take him inside. Devilry is this? A puppet moving without a master? Please put me down, Master Bang. Master Carl, you have returned. Huh? What is the matter? Please remain calm. Sis, so she's our enemy? It's just that. No, no. If you say she's our enemy, then it must be true. Well, as that seems to be settled, as much as I regret this, Miss Noel, I'm going to have to ask you to die. The will of fate is turning. Rebel one. Oh wow, we start injured. Really? Fine.
do this. Huh? Please! Taekwondo Rise! Please! Ada! Hey! Flacco! Go in and stop! Taekwondo Rise! Just start it! There we go. Uh, Carl, why? It's time for the finale. Goodbye, Miss Noel. I will not let you. What are you doing, Master Bang? I would never dream of interrupting a fair duel, but what you do here, Master Carl, is anything but fair. Oh. Your behavior confuses and saddens me, Master Carl. This woman only tried to help treat your wounds. She had no intention of crossing blades with you. Mr. Bang! What has happened to you, Master Carl? Perhaps you had best cool down a little. You have no idea what you're talking about. Listen huh? to him. He's you talking know facts. You about me. You just leave me alone. Come on, sis. It's time we left. Master Carl, your wounds are still... <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um... Okay, it's the first one, and then the second one. Gotcha. All right, all right. So we need to pick the first one where we had to essentially be mean. Carl needs to be mean in order to get his bad ending. I think I might have overdone it a little bit. No, I'm fine, sis. Really, I'm just a little tired. A bottle with a regeneration Ars Magus sealed inside. Side effects scare me, but I don't have much of a choice right now. Oh, now, if I can just find a quiet place to rest. Oh, what's the matter, sis? The librarian and that uniform. The hey, it's Savaki. All right, time to Who fight. Are you? I don't recall being acquaintances with the Wing of Justice. Carl Clover, is that you, Carl? Oh, that voice. It's me, Carl. Tsubaki Yayoi. Don't you remember me? Miss Tsubaki, then you do remember me. I'm touched. Even so, I regret that we have to meet this way after so long. So you're a member of the Zero Squadron now, Tsubaki? I suppose I should have expected as much from the famous Yayoi's. May I ask a personal query? What is it? I'll answer it if I can, but... 
the Zero Squadron. On paper, your unit stands at the very top of the Librarium command structure, so I thought the information might trickle your way. Do you know where my father is? What's his name? <gasps> Relius Clover. But... but that's... Judging by your expression, it seems that you do, in fact, know something. I am sorry, but I think I must insist that you tell me everything you know. You can't be serious. If I weren't, then I wouldn't be here right now. You uh, understand for some that, reason, right? from stylish mode, yeah. I actually vaguely know how to do Carl position. combos now. But it actually helped place, me understand some we? of his combos. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> The will bait is starting. Rebel one. Action. This is a going in strong. A vigilant counter. 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 Your counter. Just starting. Counter. Not bad. Going in strong. Get away. Get away. Counter. It's my turn. This is a. Going in strong! Ada! Set, set! Huh? Set! Wango! Not bad! Set! 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 Wango! Going in strong! Not bad! Wait! Going in strong! No way! Counter! Yeah! Going in strong! Please don't! As expected! As this is a... Volagretto! Set! Are you serious? My tummy is counter! Merchant, I bought hey, we beat her. from made me more than a little skeptical, but it seems to have worked as advertised. <sighs> Carl, now let's continue our conversation. I was asking about my father, if I remember correctly. Keep in mind, I held back so that you'd still be able to talk. That's enough of that. Huh? Hey there, little Carl. Long time no see. Not you too, Miss Makoto. Why does it seem as if my past is coming back to haunt me? Is there some sort of class reunion I'm not aware of? A class reunion? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that isn't the case. However, you're just as cute and cuddly as ever. It almost makes me want to care about what you have to say, but... I can't let you have Tsubaki. Why do you feel the need to interfere? Don't tell me you of the library actually understand loyalty. Because we're friends. I have no other reason besides that. Hmm. I find that very Good girl Makoto. Cares about her friends more, more than duty. It seems that you're a member of the intelligence department, judging by your uniform. If that's the case, then you probably know far more about my father's whereabouts than she does. Father? What are you talking about? He's talking about Relia's Clover. Don't worry about me, Makoto. You have to run! He's a lot stronger than you think. <gasps> Whoa, hold up there a minute. What do you plan on doing in your condition? Were you planning on holding him off while I make good my escape? You might want to lay off the comic books for a while. Makoto. Oh, I see. Mm. Tsubaki, please just keep quiet right now. Hmm. Uh, oh, I see. So, 
You do know about him after all. I was sure that the intelligence department would have a great deal of information to share. Right, sis? Come on, Carl. <laughs> Tsubaki, I think it's time to run. Uh, oh, Makoto, what are you... Do you think I'll let you get away? Let's go, sis. Whoa, better luck next time. It seems you've got much to learn, young Carl. Well, I'll see you around. Wait! Wow, she's fast. Oh, I think I've lost sight of her. However, I have every intention of getting the information I need. This is my chance. There are two people in Kagutsuchi that know about my father. Sis, what's wrong? Wait. All right, second choice. We need to do this one in order to get his bad ending. Do we have to? Yeah, we had to. <coughs> Don't tell me we had to fight Hazuma. <coughs> Sorry, the <Please>. call. <coughs> I never knew there was such a place under the N O L. And what could that be? I feel the air is trying to crush me. Azure? Is 
that the Azure? My goodness, unexpected guests. Hmm. Part of the continuum shift. Hmm. I didn't even know you were there. Who are you? Oh my, where are my manners? Sincerest apologies. I am Hazama, from the Novus Orbis Librarium Intelligence Department. And you are Carl Clover, vigilante extraordinaire, correct? How do you know who I am? Well, for starters, I'm pretty sure we've met before. You... You are the NOL agent who was with Miss Noel. Ah, so you do remember me. I'm touched. Whoa! Sis! Gosh, that was dangerous! I could have been hurt! That's a big no-no, Nirvana. You can't use violence to solve all your problems. Just who exactly are you? Huh? Didn't I just introduce myself? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, you're such a silly kid. Oh, if you're also with the intelligence department, then you must know where my father is. Also? My, my, so you've been talking to other librarian agents, have you? Well, dang, this won't do at all. All the people just running around, doing as they please. Who's their commanding officer, anyway? Oh, wait. <laughs> that would be me, wouldn't it? Ugh. Come on now, Carl Clover. Why so serious? I've dealt with a lot of adults just like you. You act friendly and speak and have truths. But in the end, you're really just trying to deceive me. Thanks to all of them, I know how brutal this world can be. Oh? Well, well, this is rather interesting. I certainly won't deny you have had a number of rather... Uh, uh, shall we all right, say let's do this. <laughs> ...cruel experiences. We've exhausted the potential for this discussion. More important than my past is the whereabouts of Ragna the Blood Edge. Tell me where he is. You are a vicious little bugger, aren't you? No wonder Nirvana is so obedient. The proud son of Relius Clover. You know, my father? Kind of a hard person to get, isn't he? I'll be honest with you, kid. I have a little trouble putting up with him myself. Sis, this person... Oh, come on! What's the matter? Why the scary face? Oh, don't tell me. You actually want to fight me? Well, see, the thing is, I don't really like fighting. Unfortunately for you, I couldn't care less about what you like. Now, tell me everything you know about my father and Ragna the Blood Edge. Yeah, yeah, well, it looks like Ragna hasn't shown up yet. I suppose I can play with you for a bit. Yet? I guess we're in the right place after all. Sis! All right. Show me what you've got, boy! Alright, let's do this. Huh, <sighs> alright. <laughs> Was it unlimited house of us? No, it was the regular. Alright, thank god. I can relax now. Oh my god. <laughs> Action! Please! Turn on the not so fast, 
There you go. Oh my god, so much easier. Thank you, game. <laughs> Even if you're rotten, I guess you're still Nirvana, aren't you? Sis, it's time for the finale! Target confirmed. Nox Nictoris class weapon. What in the... Reinforcements? Talk about playing dirty! Deploying pedals. Commencing elimination of target. Hey, it's Moo. So she's like complete. Huh? Wait! Huh? Process terminated. Wow. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? You do what I tell you, not whatever the hell you feel like doing. God damn it. Is this part of the continuum shift too? Takamagahara, you are such a pain in the ass. Sis, can you move? I'm okay. I can still fight. Oh, man. How do I put this? This is really, really discouraging. I'm supposed to believe this little prick is another piece of this godforsaken puzzle? Fuoco! What? With one hand? So you think you've seen some pretty messed up stuff, right? Well, how about I give you a taste of real hell? Don't you dare move, you little shit! And stay out of the way of my game, all right? Don't make fun of me! Are you serious? You can't be serious! Did you really think you were gonna take me down with that? That? <laughs> Wake up! Oh. happening this time yep i suggest no i insist that you enjoy the show from up there trust me it'll be the best show you've ever seen shame your sister won't be able to enjoy it with you <laughs> uh, uh, sis sis This is fun, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Hmm, what should I do next? Ooh, that was a good one. Nice and crisp. Sis, please, stop! Stop it! I'm sorry, what's that? You'll need to speak up. I just can't hear you. <laughs> Oh, it's just like the first game. Ada's just yes. getting ripped to shreds while ah. Carl's is watching in horror. Ah. <laughs> oh man, does this feel great! Isn't she just gorgeous? I mean, Something about the way she falls apart is just an incredible commentary on the futility and impermanence of life. Don't you think this is art? Oh, we don't see her remains like in the first game. Oh, it must be really brutal this time. But look at that. Carl is just... He doesn't know what's going on anymore. The sister's broken. What's that? A little too much for the old heart to handle? Come on now, the fun's just starting! 
I've got so much more in mind for your dear, sweet sister. <laughs> Try and remember this, kid. This is war. Compassion, forgiveness, mercy. What do you think this is, a tea party? You won't find any of those here. Little boys that still piss themselves when shit starts to get real don't belong in something like that. So you burn that little nugget of information into whatever you've got that passes for a brain, and please do try and be a little more entertaining next time. Okay? You think you can do that? Please? Ah, oh, well, it's not like it matters. You were a good catalyst while you lasted. Bye-bye. Ooh, that's painful. One of the many possibilities of the continuum shift. Uh... Poor Carl. <laughs> Professor Kokonoe! Hey, we're back here. Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. All right, what advice you're going to give us, well, Kokonoe? Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off. Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, it's you. And hey, you brought Nirvana too, huh? That's not my sister's name. Ah, uh, calm down, kid. I know what's up. Yes, she's with me. Oh, look What's at up, that. <laughs> so cute. The chibi up. forms are so cute. How did you know about... Yeah, well, I'm a god here. Anyway, you don't need to be so courteous here. Come again? We take this easy around here. You don't need to have that, ugh, just whatever man sort of attitude. Uh, oh, okay. It's really not my nature, but I'll try. By the way... What exactly is this place? Professor Kokonoe's love clinic. L love Yep. Love. L-O-V-E. You can tell me anything. Why do I feel like I'm suddenly under the gun? Oh, okay. Then please hear me out. I don't know the why or how of it. But I was thrown into the cauldron and ended up here. Everything after that is kind of a blur. I see. And my sister was in pieces. I see, I see. Uh, um, Miss Kokonoe? Yes? Aren't you being a bit too remiss about this? No, you just have the worst luck imaginable. I just feel yeah, bad for you. That, I mean, that's true. Your luck is terrible. If you keep going like this, your life is going to be crap. <laughs> that is very that's true. A rather cruel way to when it comes it. to Carl's story, I don't think it's like that he, at all. well, everyone in Blaze will have terrible luck, but I feel like Carl's kind of a case of, oh, I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> Not you too. I never thought. 
I should also what like should you as I well. Do? She has some terrible luck in like the main anyway, story. First off, we need to start by getting over your gloominess. Am, am I really that much of a downer? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like a mega downer. I really don't see myself like that, to be honest. Can you give any advice? Sure. After all, this is a safe place. A place where you can get advice for achieving the true ending, and a place to have your worries listened to and made fun of. Um, sis? She's telling you to do your best. You can actually hear what she's saying? More or less, dot dot dot, and all that. Anyway, for a quick fix, why don't you just try and imitate someone cheerful? Like Tao. Maybe <laughs> someone cheerful? Like who? Rachel. I have this really weird feeling of deja vu right now. Didn't we go through all of this in the last game? And besides, Rachel isn't the most cheerful of people. Oh. I know what that's a reference to. All that's right, a fine. reference to Teach Me Miss Lifey. Huh? Miss Kitty? I don't think any human could pull that off. D do I really have to be like her? I'm just kidding. Oh, I see. That's a relief. S sorry. Um, is there any advice you could give me to get the true ending? Well, don't take the easy route, I guess. If you make choices that push you to your limits, then I think the path to the true ending will unfold. That seems a little... vague. Well, you're supposed to figure this stuff out on your own. Thank you, Miss Kokonoe. Okay, sis. Let's get going. Right. Later. Good luck. You take care, Nirvana. I wonder what he'd be like if he was actually happy. Would he be like, <laughs> Look, sis, it's a butterfly. <laughs> All right. All right, um, if I remember correctly, true ending is we had to go fight Tsubaki. <laughs> and then we need to pick the first choice after beating her. Alright, let's do this. Action! Yes. Yes. Wide open! Ada! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Anima! Wait! This is like oh. Ada! Oh. Anima! Get off me! Oh. Anima! Get off me! Eight. Please! Are you serious? You got me! Wait, she got me out of the animation, but I still hit the special though. <laughs> Merchant I bought that potion from made me more than a little skeptical. Alright, yep. Now the first one. I think we'll be okay here. Tsubaki, do you think you can stand? Yes, thank you, Makoto. I didn't expect you to show up. What were you doing there? 
Well, I was doing a little snooping for the intel department, but... No. Let's forget about work right now, okay? Yes. I think that's a good idea. Silly me, I know I just said what I said, but... Be honest with me. How's working for the Zero Squadron? How is it working for them? I... I don't even know how to start answering that question. I mean... Well... I just wonder if you ever have issues with the Squadron's objectives. That's all. Why so many questions? The Librarium... No. The Imperator's will is absolute. Hmm? And you're really okay with that? It isn't about whether I'm okay with it or not. The world needs order, and right now, that order is provided by the Librarium. I don't have any reason to doubt that order. Makoto, I know we talked about this before, but I... I want to create a world. A world without conflict or war. But if I'm going to create that brave new world, there has to be order. Absolute order. I see. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, I got stuff to do, so I'll be taking off now. Makoto? All right, I understand. And thank you for helping me. Don't worry about it. All right, then. I'll be seeing you around, Tsubaki. Aw, the two, the two friends. Alright, let's do this. Library time. I wonder where they're gonna make us fight. What's the matter, sis? Ah, I see. Someone is approaching from over there. Thank you for the warning, sis. I'm so glad I found you. You're the doctor from the clinic in Orient Town. What brings you out here? Don't tell me you somehow managed to follow me. I heard everything from Linwa. Mr. Bang and I thought it would be best if we went out and searched for you, given that your wounds weren't treated properly. Please don't concern yourself with me. How many times must I repeat myself before the thought will take hold? And besides, my wounds are completely healed. Huh? But I was told that your wounds were quite serious. Don't tell me you actually took... Your face... It's so pale. Oh no, Carl Did took you use that medicine? essentially, um, I guess it's heavy drugs. Huh. Steroids, I guess. you really I guess. are a doctor after all. But seriously, don't worry about me. And anyway, why do you care so much about my well-being? Stop being so fussy. The benefits from that medicine only last a short time. The after effects that will occur once it wears off are almost unbearable. For most, just the thought of that pain makes them continue to take the medicine far longer than they should. That medicine was developed for the soldiers on the front lines during the first Ikaruga Civil War. I thank you for the history. Oh, lesson, so it's war drugs, I gotcha. Know all of this. So your point is what exactly? Mr. Bang was rather surprised. He said he didn't know who you fought, but whoever it was really knew how to pull his punches. Nevertheless, with those wounds, you still shouldn't have been able to move like this yet, if at all. But you somehow managed to get up right away and fight the lieutenant. See, so that's how you were able to. All of you! None of you have even the slightest clue what I'm going through. Your false sympathy is not only insulting, but it's fast becoming a nuisance. Why won't you understand that? Adults are always like that. Even my father. 
He pretended to be nice and caring, but what he did to me and my sister... Scheming bastards! All of you! Carl, I don't know what kind of life you've led up until now, but I really... Just leave me alone! Alright. It looks like Carl's done venting out, letting it all out, no longer bottling up his frustrations in life. Alright, time- let's- let's fight. <laughs> the will of fate is turning! Rebel 1! Action! Hey! Going in strong! Hey! No! Going in strong! Hey! Hey! Take this! Volanta! Uh-uh! Oh, not bad! You'll need more of the Take this! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Strong. Hi. Uh. oh no! Yeah. Let's play! Hi. Are you ready? It's gonna it's hurt! Dirty. Oh. Not yet! Great wheel! Oh. 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 Return! My Tommy Lane's gun shot Alright, we did it. Um, yeah, save over this. <gasps> Why did Nirvana stop? Was it Carl? Hi, hi. Hey, Eagle, Since how are ya? We're doing Carl's that? um true ending. What? We got his bad ending. Carl. Where essentially now, Carl was forced to see his sister no, get ripped to shreds no. by Hazama. And he's just forced to stay Sir there and watch. Bastards. And then after that, Kazuma just this? grabs the boy and chucks him at a pillar and he just instantly blacks out. What should I do? Sis? We're doing the true ending where essentially oh he gets crying. stopped by Lychee. <laughs> And she That's shows a lot of concern and care towards Carl, despite Carl, not um, sister. not trusting her at first. Ayo, hey, oh, NTR sorry. ending? The the bad I'm ending? I mean... I'm not your sister, but I, I guess you can say that. Can True ending you. is more like... Oh, this 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 guy has literally been Drew so much. He bottled all of his frustrations in life, and he's just letting it spill out at this moment. <laughs> sis, sis. <laughs> There's no shame in crying. If you're still able to cry, that means there's still hope for you yet. Sis, I'm... I just wanted to be with you! That's all I wanted! Yet... yet he... He had to! Whatever happened, it must have been really tough for you. Are you okay now, Carl? Yes, and thank you. I'm sorry that you had to witness such an unseemly display of emotion, however. There's no need to apologize for being human. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on every once in a while. Especially myself. Even you, Miss Lychee? Yes, even me. So really, don't worry about it. Okay, but still, thank you. Now that that's out of the way, I must insist that you let me examine you, and promise me you'll never use that medicine again. But yeah, how are you, Eagle? I forgot again, to ask okay? that. But for now, let's head back to the clinic. Huh? But 
There are times like this where you really should just listen to what others have to say. Yes, yes. Lychee, give give Perhaps him some right. advice, please. Case, I think I will take you up on your offer. Shad, due to family circumstance, well. I can't stream right now. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I hope the family sister, circumstance is isn't it, like too bad. I see she really does resemble Ada. What? What's the matter, Carl? Oh, is this man an acquaintance of your? <laughs> oh, he got knocked out. Ah, uh, Carl, my boy. Look, it's you Dad. Really do seem to hate me. <laughs> but alas, your anger is merely a candle to the sun. Why did you do that to my sister? That's super bad. My sister's recovering from being that? sick. Um, right, I is staying with us. Oh, okay. I, well, I hope your sister gets and better I soon. I hope, like, what she got isn't, like, forgot. too bad. Like, it's Mother. just a cold, maybe a fever. Not anything, Father. you know, terrible. Be. I hope she has a speedy Your recovery. Relius Clover? The puppet master? Ah, so there it is. The Nox Nictoris Nirvana. Looking back on the whole thing, she was the perfect test subject. I was truly honored that Ada willingly cooperated throughout the entire process. Cooperated? You turned her into a machine! How could you do something like that? That thing has fulfilled its role. With flying colors, no less. You evil! Miss Lychee. I'm sorry. I just don't think I can ever forgive this man. Do we have to fight Dad? This failing Carl! No, don't! Oh, look, Allow me it's to a... introduce Fluctus Redactum Ignis. Look, it's another puppet. It can't be. That's right. Now this is my greatest creation. My one and only desire fulfilled. With this, I have achieved perfection. You can't even begin to compare it to that Nox Nictoris. Father? Boundary interfaces. I've spent some time experimenting with those as well, but they just wouldn't do. Why, you ask? Because they were already complete. Because they were already complete, I was unable to get them to do what I required of them. Dear Ada was the one who taught me that lesson. I really do owe her my thanks. Never say her name again! Hmm. Impressive. But there still seems to be a great deal of room for improvement. Ah! Carl! Oh! Ah! Ah! Are you all right, Carl? You... How... Dare you do something like that to your own child? Ah, yes, I remember you now. You were a colleague of the professor, were you not? You know the professor? Why, of course. Kokonoe helped me build this. Ignis. Impossible! The professor did? Indeed she did. 
both Kokonoe and one other, have become what I like to call Architects of Sin. Architects of... Sin? However, it appears that one of the two has thrown away the ability, or so it seems. And it's precisely why I no longer have use for them. The Professor created a Nox Nictoris? <laughs> Boy, I haven't been this forthcoming in some time. However, it is rare that I come across those who have the intelligence to even begin to grasp what I have to say. Oh, it appears that my time is up, as is yours. Unfortunately. Oh, I will never forgive you. Ignis, finish them. Nirvana? S sis. Most intriguing response, Ada. So, Murakumo has awakened. Although, I never thought that the twelfth subject would... I thought that was just a failed experiment. It appears there is still much I have to learn. Nirvana, thank you. Carl. After taking a moment to clear her head, Lychee approached the still unconscious Carl with a worry expression on her face. The boy is flat on his back as though he is looking at the stars, a blank empty expression on his face of one who has lost everything. Carl. Poor, poor boy. He got mind. He got mind break no matter the ending. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> damn it! Damn it, father! So that's what you were after. Carl, what's the matter? Stop! Stop it, Carl! <laughs> What's wrong? Tell me! Carl, you have to calm down! Calm down? How can you expect me to calm down in a situation like this? Don't you realize? That robot with him was... Ignis Clover! That was... My mother! Huh? All right, sis. I'm all ready to go now. Sis, I'm sorry for everything I've put you through. I promise that I'll... Yes, I understand. I'll defeat him with my own two hands. But there's no way for me to do that as I am now. That's why. That's why I need to That's somehow... That's one way to make a lady obedient. <laughs> I mean, you don't even know why he turned her into a doll. He's, I guess he just did it for science. That's literally really is his personality. All the fucked up things he does, just for science. He was like, ah, I'm curious.
Magna the Blood Edge was also headed for Ikaruga. That's the reason why I'm even bothering to go there in the first place. Also, I need to find that Kokonoe person from Sector 7, too. Well then, shall we be on our way, sis? Oh, yes, you're right. I almost forgot. Miss Lychee, Master Bay, please forgive me for leaving without telling you. I am truly grateful for everything you've done for me. If I live long enough to reach adulthood, then I hope to become someone like you, Miss Lychee. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. You guys, true ending. Goes off on a journey. <laughs> I do find it funny that most of the endings we got from the character stories that I did. Oh, we unlock Lychee's story. And really is a story. Alright, um. I found it funny that these two endings, these two characters, their, their true endings are them going to Ikagura. Same thing with Carl. It's it's almost like everyone's going there. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna do his gag ending next. Which is, um... Which... How do I do that? I think we had to go here. What? You, you mean to say Miss Lychee is not available? And we had to pick the second option. Alright, we need to go beat up Noel. And then we need to click the second option. The will fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action! How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? going in strong! Child's play! Down going in strong! Down to the tabulate! Down to the tabulate! Going in strong! Reconsider and listen to what Mr. Bing has to say. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. We are going to do Carl's funny ending. And Eagle, since you're here, I'm going to show you the Rachel gag ending. Because that one's like the famous one that all the doujins of Blaze Blue is about. Listen to what I have to say. But that's after Carl? we finish Carl's gag ending. You seem down. <laughs> yeah, all that hurt. The, the pain is excruciating, Master Carl. to you. You used to be such a sweet and caring young boy. Huh. I think I get it now. Uh, what did you get? I didn't even see you leave. 
Hmm. I read about this very situation in a book I found in the doctor's room a long time ago. W w what? A book in Miss Lychee's room? Okay. Now you're just being creepy. I, I apologize. I could not help myself. Moving on. What kind of book was it? It was one of those How to Treat a Child Who's Down books. Perfect. That sounds exactly what Carl needs right now. Do you remember what instructions you saw in this venerable tome? If I remember correctly, you have them lay on their side and have them relax. Carl, lie down on this bed right this instant. Now, you must close your eyes and relax. Relax, I say! Don't worry about it, sis. I'll do what they say. For now. Now try to remember. Remember? About what? Remember a time in the past where you were completely relaxed. A time when I was completely relaxed? Oh, flashback scene. Exactly. Let's go. What are we going to get? You ready? Here I go. One, two, three. Hanging in the sky is the barest silver of a crescent moon. Um, the com the combination of dim clouds and the low evening temperature forms a dense fog that surrounds the academy, creating a somewhat eerie a atmosphere. C Carl, aren't you? Oh, look, it's them in their academy days. Why would I be scared? Don't worry. Tonight is just a night like any other. Besides, weren't you the one who suggested we get to the bottom of the seven mysteries of the Academy? Um, it was mostly Makoto's idea, but... W wait a second. Where is Makoto? Right here. She's cowering behind me. Scary! What the heck?! Makoto, you were the one who suggested this little adventure. You should be the one taking the lead. No, 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 no! I can never do something like that. What are you talking about? You didn't think it would be quite this scary, did you? Yeah. <laughs> How come I'm not surprised? Never mind. I'll take point. Are you serious? Little Carl, you're the best. Yes, well, I am a man, after all. Oh, Carl, I think I'm falling for you. What? Miss Makoto, don't jump on me like that. It's obviously shedding season, and your fur will get all over my pants. <laughs> Wow, that sounds very uh, subjective. <laughs> suggestive. <laughs> but at the same time, I understand as someone who owns pets. You Petting know, season is quite you something at the back end all the time. But you're pretty conscientious about and your even then, I still find you? fur. You always seem to be taking a lot of time and care when you dress in the morning. Yes, I have to credit my sister for that. She always told me that wrinkles in your clothes are wrinkles in your mind and that you should always be presentable, no matter what the occasion. What a nice sister. Yes, she is. Sis is really elegant, and she's got a nice personality. At the same time, she's got a great sense of humor, and when we used to live together, she'd always make little puzzles and riddles for me. And her jokes were riotously funny. For example, how many dead hamsters does it take to change a light bulb? Oh man, just thinking about it makes me laugh until I... Wait, they, they didn't fill up the text box, really? <laughs> stop, stop, just stop right there. Carl, if you keep going on about your sister, we'll be here until dawn. Yes, Carl, the sister calm. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just... Whenever I talk about my sister, I... 
Aw, I'm jealous. I wish I had a cute little brother like you now. Be serious, Miss Noel. That'd be impossible, you know? No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'd never be anyone's younger brother but my own sister's. Oh. I see. I think. Oh, well, you can just see? adopt them, right? <laughs> it's all elementary, my dear Noel. Technically, he was abandoned by his parents. Well, you can then, adopt them, we yeah. We should get moving, or we'll be here all night. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Let's plunge ourselves into the seven mysteries of the Academy. So now, let's... Go! Turn off all the lights during the late night hours to conserve electricity. What do you mean? You have like floating magic way, symbols Macaulay, on top. That provides some light. Be solving? I didn't even know the school had any. Huh? Uh, well, um, well, you know, there's the, um, oh, oh, the laughing portrait of Beethoven. The skeleton model that dances around on its own. A piano that plays Oh, itself. those are some classic, um, seven mysteries of a school. A single step that appears out of nowhere. Balls that start bouncing on their own in the gymnasium. Cries coming from the toilets. The ghost of a girl that constantly tries to get you to come to the girl's bathroom on the third floor. Huh? That doesn't sound like the ones I heard. Huh? Carl? What mysteries have you heard about? The grease that just won't come off the frying pans. No matter how much you scrub them. The basketballs that were just left all over the place after being used. Weeds that just keep coming back even after they've been pulled. The terrible sound quality of the school's PA speakers. The windowsill that for some reason is still dusty despite repeated um. cleaning. The PA's speakers, you can just replace it. It has terrible sound quality, but just replace it. I, I bet the score is rich because it's for like a can it's like for military kids. Isn't that just Yeah, totally. It's just the school staff and students bitching about how bad the facilities are. I thought as much. I guess it's because Carl is so nice and listens to what everyone has to say. Yeah. Carl is such a nice boy, isn't he? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! N now that you mention it, I've got a few mysteries of my own. Oh yeah? Let's hear them! A room that is never cleaned no matter how many times I ask. A sink left running for no reason. Dirty clothes scattered across the floor. Vegetables that... Wait, wait! Hold it right there! Isn't that... That's just you bitching about me and Noel! Yes, these are some very troublesome mysteries. <laughs> ah, wow. It seems this, that you have she a just drew them under the bus. Of your own, Miss Subaki. Finally, someone who understands me. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> well, in all honesty, it really wasn't that hard to imagine. You two, stop it! <laughs> D did you guys just hear that? Yeah, I did. It came from the music room. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you were right, Carl. It is coming from inside the music room. There must be someone in there. Who could it be? How the hell are we supposed to know? Do you think it's the portrait of Beethoven that's laughing? That seems the most likely explanation.
it's not quite right. <laughs> Jen is just practicing his evil laugh. Wow. I bet he's practicing when he will meet Rob yes, now. That sounds about right. Now, let me try it with some dialogue. <clears throat> At last we meet! Oh dear brother of yeah. mine! How I've longed for this day to finally arrive! I see you have too! I can see you shiver with anticipation! Killing you now will be so sweet! Yep. Classic Jin. The Yandere Brother Con. Um, uh... The fact that <laughs> people are just watching him is, is hilarious. Class President Kisaragi? Yes, it is Class President Kisaragi. What on earth is he doing? Oh, I know! He must be rehearsing for some kind of play. Um, sure. Yeah, let's go with that, Carl. Let's Could just you go with that. Else? He's popular enough that the drama club wouldn't hesitate to ask him for help when they're short on actors. I bet he's going to be starring in an upcoming performance. It, is that so? Of course. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> it all makes, makes sense, sense now. now. Uh, yeah, wow, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> in the music room. One mystery down, six to go. It's the piano. It's coming from next door. Everybody ready? Going to open the door. Wait, what? what? Is that? So, it seems so refined, so aristocratic. It was Valkenheim. Has you too? He's saying something. There. Yes, there. And turn. Perfect. Ah, you are as magnificent as ever, Madam Rachel. Ah, you dance exquisitely. Even I, Valkenhayn, am touched. To accompany oh, that's you actually in really dance cute. is the greatest honor I could hope for. Yes, excellent. You are amazing, Madam Rachel. Ah, I get it now. Oh, Carl, dazzle us with your wondrous powers of deduction. Um, I'm ashamed to admit, I have no idea what's going on here. He's playing the piano as an accompaniment to whatever daydream he's having. In his fantasy, he must be dancing with someone. Listen to what he's playing. It's something very easy to dance to, and the passion with which he's playing. He must really love whoever he's fantasizing about. Um, yeah, that's one way to put it. You're pretty amazing. I have to second that. Oh, no, not really. I mean, anyway, we've solved the great piano mystery. Only five more to go. Hey, here it is. Right here. Okay, who's it this gonna is be? Is it Teremy? Is it Ragna? Is it Tao? Who? I can't right. imagine like. Let's try climbing it and see what happens. Who will be the mysterious step? I'm like trying to see who's like the most all. fitting one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
There are 13 steps. Why? <sighs> Calm down. Take a look at what we're standing on. Oh, so I guessed Tao correctly. Well, one of my guesses was Tao, so yeah, that's accurate. There's something there! And it's sleeping! What, 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 what is this thing? Relax, everyone. It's just a cat. Uh, a cat? It's huge. It's way too big to be a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Are it's, you sure it's a cat it's person. Just a cat? Absolutely 100% positive. And it appears to be a stray at that. It must have snuck into the building somehow and just curled up on these stairs. <laughs> Must be really tired. I doubt it's going to be waking up anytime soon. That must have been why some people confused it for an extra step. Aww, a kitty. It's so cute. Carl, you are amazing. Wow. Oh, no, really, I haven't done anything of note. If one simply stays calm and thinks about the situation rationally, I'm sure they'd all arrive at the same conclusion that I have. Oh yes, before I forget, the bouncing basketballs in the gym? That's the substitute special ed teacher, Bang, trying to blow off some steam by practicing slam dunks. <laughs> the cries from the toilets? Those are the pathetic cries of Lychee, the school nurse, as she desperately tries to squeeze herself into a miniskirt one size too small for her. Oh. <laughs> the dancing skeleton in the science lab was the piano playing butler from before. He was practicing his dance moves, and I guess he couldn't find a partner, so. The Lychee one is sad because it actually Amazing. connects to, like, You've the character trait of so her, where. There's a I lot of cute clothes she wants to wear, to but she can't wear it because of um, her measurements. <laughs> so and she also likes cross-playing, but she can't fit him. most of her outfits, so she's like, well, is this going to be hanging in the closet for now on? <laughs> Would we ever do without you, Carl? The fact that they just solve all the mysteries rather quickly is hilarious, it? though. I guess it makes sense that all the mysteries actually had fairly rational explanations. Let's see. Okay, we have a happy Noel, a happy Carl. Tsubaki is a little flustered, and <laughs> Makoto is scared and just holding on Tsubaki's chest because. But why not? Why the hell not? Best way to calm down, I guess. When they're afraid, people will often see things that aren't actually there. Or at the very least, misinterpret things that are there. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, I don't know about you, but with everything that's happened, I'm just beat. I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of fun tonight. Really? If you really enjoyed yourself, then I guess it's mission accomplished. Come again? Carl, you seemed a little down lately, you know? You were homesick, weren't you? Ah, so that's why you guys... ...planned all of this... ...for me? Yeah, sorta. <laughs> Everyone... I don't know what to say. Thank you. I 
really did have a great time. Oh, you don't need to thank us. A smile on your face is more than enough thanks for us. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. That's strange. Weren't those three girls supposed to drag Carl this way? Oh my! Principal Ragna, what on earth are you doing in this compromising position? Well, if it isn't the rabid vice principal. Oh yeah, well, why am I here? Ragna the as the uh... Because he needed some help solving one of the seven mysteries. I'm supposed to be acting as a ghost girl or something. Principal, wow. <laughs> and here I am, sitting on my thumb. A girl? Please do refrain from saying such idiotic things. You are making me ill. What do you mean by that? Hey, what do you mean by that? I'm an awesome ghost girl. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no matter how one looks at you, one sees a pitiful fool who fell victim to his own students and has been, as the final insult, forgotten. Oh. Hey, wait, what did you say? Hey, Vice Principal Rabbit! Hey! Hey! Oh, rest in peace, Ragna. Left in his... Per I don't know why... I don't know why he's sitting on his dumb. That doesn't make sense. What kind of ghost girl sits on her dumb? But either way. Alright. Finish Carl's story. And then we have... Rachel. I want to see something real quick. Nope. No level up. How long will it take us to get to a level up? Yeah, Rachel. Lie to myself. A large moon hangs in the air. Grim, dark, dark, grim black clouds, hungry for light, devour the few remaining shafts of silvery, sil silvery moonlight. Suddenly, the world is very, is sorry. The world is a very dark place. A teapot sits on top a lace. Don 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 Donley Dolly Dolly, embroidered with roses. Steam drifts up from its sprout. A tiny shed of light against the darkness. But no sooner has it risen than the. Wind snuffs it out. A man with his hair pulled back into a tight, wait, wait, tight, quick look up, looks up slowly. I have returned. Welcome home, my lady. Your tea. Also, I realized that an hour passed, so I want to do a BRB break. So I'll be right back. And just take this as your opportunity for your own BRB break.
All right, I'm back. All right, let's play this out. Oh, princess, it's horrible. I can see all of Nagos. I can see everything. All of the... The underbits! Hmm. Ow! I can't stretch that far. You're gonna tear me in half. Is something amiss, m'lady? It's moving again, Valkenheim. Talk of Magahara, you mean? Of course. If your servant may be so bold as to pose a question, what do you intend to do? Nothing. I simply... You simply? I did not think I would be seeing Teremi again so soon. Goodness gracious me! The princess being timid? This isn't something you see every day. If you perceive my tone to be timid, creature, then Teremi shall be the least of your worries. If your ears are as utterly useless as they appear to be, I fail to see why I should allow you to keep them. If Teremi saw fit to insert his repugnant self into my affairs, then I've no doubt we shall see more of him, as well as his constant companion, Trouble. Indeed. How terrible. Are you sure, milady? Why ever would you ask? Laughing while one says, how terrible, can suggest one's true sentiments are otherwise. You misheard. I was not laughing. I was sighing. My sincerest apologies, milady. It is time I was on my way. What? You're leaving already? But, but we haven't eaten anything yet. We will eat after our task is complete. Balkenheim's scones are of such quality that no matter how long we may take, their taste shall be unchanged when we return. Where are we going, princess? Was I not clear? We are going to visit him. Him? Valkenheim? Yes, milady? I have a favor to ask of you. Of course, milady. I live only to serve. All right, let's go. Let's do Rachel's gag ending. And then after that, I'll end stream because I think that's like a good place to end. <laughs> okay, what do I need to do, game? Tell me what I need to do. <laughs> Wake up, puppet. Wake up now, or I shall be forced to pack that suit of yours with animals' leavings and spoiled food. I doubt that will be pleasant. Hmm. Oh, I see the tendrils of cowardice have already attached themselves to your ankles. Perhaps you should brush them off before they reach your knees. You. You must be either terribly bored or something of a madman to sit so quietly in such a ghastly place. State your business. Oh, my goodness. Such a powerful protective circle they've placed you in here. Why, it took me the entirety of five minutes to circumvent it. Practically forever. It seems you are very valuable to Sector 7. Oh, no. To Kokonoa. Whatever plans the Grimalkin has made are no concern of mine. Oh, 
And what of me? A foolish question. You know the answer. How dull. Aren't you bored here? I suppose I could spare a moment if you'd like to entertain me. Ha! Your motives are as transparent as ever. You are only here to observe. Am I wrong? Oh, perhaps you are slightly less of an idiot than I gave you credit for. The will paid its turning. Rebel one. Action! What? Yes! 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 Win, now they take care. Counter, no, counter, 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 what do you mean? Now that Noelle has awoken as the Eye, time has begun to move. She has become the Master Unit's eyes, and she is now immortal. What? And Takamagahara? Yes. Terami has returned to drag out the future we'd left slumbering in the depths. And lest you think that were not enough, we are currently engaged in a continuum shift. Anything can happen, and likely will. You speak as though something already has. I would rather not think of it, thank you. I have, however, heard of her awakening. I see. Then the time has come for me to take up my sword. I must go. Oh my. I see there is at least some remnant of a brain moldering in that ancient shell. But first things first, Mr. Hero. You must leave this place. <sighs> I've already taken the liberty of dispelling the magic that bound you. You may thank me later. However, we must talk, and I am loath to do so here. Shall we meet in Kagutsuchi? Yes, that sounds good. I shall go on ahead. Do follow soon before I grow bored. This city lacks integrity. Princess! Darling! What are we doing in a place like this? Whiling away the hours until Mr. Hero deigns to join us. Oh? Huh? Something smells really good! It seems to be coming from this restaurant. My goodness! This restaurant smells delicious! Woohoo! It smells so good! Princess, hurry, hurry! Let's eat something! Wait! That man over there? Oh, look, it's the scene from Ragnar's story where he, like, um, Just what gave does that Platinum the Trinity some food doing? because she literally that was just begging for food. Way too young for him. Maybe he's a... What did the princess call it? Oh, no. Uh, pedophile? Wah! Why did you hit me? Silence. Otherwise, the only pieces of you I leave will be too small for the eye to see. What? What's wrong, princess? 
You're so grumpy all of a sudden. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. <sighs> uh, um, Princess? You're not gonna talk to him? Let's see. Yeah, for her gag ending, we have to pick the first one. It's kind of funny that her her gag ending is like the easiest to get, and it's like the most popular one. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We're gonna show the the beauty known as Rachel's gag ending. Wait, we can save it? Yo, we can save it. All right, all right. We need a. Uh... David here. <laughs> Good morning, Ragna. As foolish as always, I see. Ugh! Freaking rabbit! What are you doing here? What a silly question. Why should I tell you why I do anything? Must I always tell you my whereabouts now? No, of course not. But... Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> oh, you are such a slow creature. No, creature is too kind. Something even lower than that. Barely even a form of life. What the hell, rabbit? You see, you bark back so quickly. They say the weaker the dog, the more it will bark. But even that could not account for the noise you make. Wouldn't you agree? What the hell? Although, you seem to be in rare form today. And? Who is she? Huh? What do you mean, who's... Ah, uh, uh, Platinum. Uh... I mean, now she's... It's Luna. Oh, I see. Then you are a pedophile after all. Whoa! Where the hell did that come from? I'm sorry, but when I see a spade, or in this case, a pedophile, I call it such. Oh, perhaps you don't know what the word means. A oh, they really are just drawing the P-word around. <laughs> Even I know that in the Japanese you dub, suck. it's just Molly Kong. Luna? Was totally uncalled for. Hey, I just call him like I see him. <laughs> Are you jealous? Oh boy, it's a cat a fight now. <laughs> huh? A, a present? If you would be so kind as to close your eyes for a moment. Hell no! God knows what you're gonna do. Besides, anything from you probably wouldn't be worth having. Well, I never. Ha! Oof. <laughs> well, rip rock now. <laughs> I'm rather bored, Ragna. I believe I'll play with you a little to pass the time. Falkenhain? I am here, madam. Explain to him as you would to a child. But of course, milady. I don't wish to appear arrogant or presumptuous, but please allow me to explain. The item that Madam Rachel has placed upon the insect Rogna the Blood Edge are the legendary spectacles of Eros, and a powerful magical item they are indeed. Their effect will spread quickly through all of Kagutsuchi, and soon, no matter where Rogna may try to hide, the power of the spectacles of Eros will exert their power over others. Everyone, even those who hated him, will come to love him. That is the dreadful power of the spectacles of Eros. The spectacles of Eros were crafted so perfectly in times of yore 
that the person wearing them will not even feel their presence and will never know that they have become the bearer of such a powerful artifact. Very nicely said. You are too kind, madam. <laughs> what just happened? Did I get hit by a truck or something? <laughs> Why, whatever do you mean, Ragnar? What foolishness. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh? Luna, what's up with you? Why are you looking down? Oh, it seems that her heart is racing. Your face is bright red. Did you eat something funny? Sh shut up, dumbass! I'm not red! Uh, suit yourself. If you're running a fever or have a stomach ache, just stay the hell away from me. I don't want to catch anything you have. What? How can you be so insensitive, you jackass? Saying mean things like that to Luna. You're so mean, Ragna. You suck! Ah! Hot meat kettle. Luna's the, the, is the bratty one that will always <laughs> just be Whoa, mean. Hold on a sec. So she got What's her just desserts at this point. Senna, what you waiting for? Do something! Um, I don't think there's anything I can do. Why are you acting like this is none of your business? Because, well, you know, it's not really... It's your fault, Ragna! You said mean things! I hate you, Ragna! I hate you! I... I... I love you! What? Where the hell did that come from? Wow, now I'm embarrassed. Oh, how delightful. They're working perfectly. None can resist the almighty power of the spectacles of Eros. Ragna! Luna loves you! Mm, stop! Don't touch me! You child. Do you truly love Ragnar that much? Yes! A thousand times, yes! Oh dear, that won't do at all. Why? Why, because Ragnar is simply head over heels in love with me, of course. What? Is that true? No! And in case you missed it the first time, hell no! You twisted evil blood-sucking rabbit, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, come now, Ragnar. No need to be shy. Just admit your feelings. Admit that you are my devoted servant. Who are you calling a servant? Ragnar the Blood Edge. Is Ragnar here? Look at that. Ragnar the Blood More Edge girls. is here, isn't he? <laughs> my goodness. What an interesting collection of visitors. There he is. Ragnar's over there! You son of a bitch! You know how hard it was to find you! Just stay right there, Ragnar the Blood Edge! Wait a minute, what's going on? Don't worry, Ragnar. Everything will be all right. Just drink this filter of unwavering passion. Be sure to drink it all at once! Oh, she's, she's gonna drug him. <laughs> All right! What do you think you're doing, Lieutenant? You just blasted my special medicine across the room! Well... I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Lychee. How dare you make him drink such a shameless potion? You're still very much a child, Lieutenant. Sometimes love requires that one use a bit of persuasion to make it bloom. L love? Do I need to draw you a picture? I love Ragna the Blood Edge! What did you say? Huh, <laughs> ripping. Huh? Did you hear that? Outside? It sounded like millions of voices cried out in anguish and were suddenly silenced. Oh, looky, it's a Star Wars reference. Wow. 
That's a reference to episode 4. No, you're probably just hearing things. But no matter how much you love someone, you can't just drug them. Exactly. Listen to yes, Noel. Of course. Medicine is completely off limits. Terribly unfair. Here, Ragna, eat this candy. It'll refresh your uh mouth. Oh. Thanks. Hiya! <laughs> Oh my, an impressive strike. It seems the candy has been shattered. A shame. Ugh. Professor, it seems that I can't stop watching you for even a second. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Ragna, the candy the professor just offered you contained a very, very, very powerful sleeping pill. You can't be serious. <laughs> You saw right through me, Lychee, you fox. Yeah, that's right. I put a sleeping pill in there. Oh, not just any sleeping pill. More this rupees, shit would knock wow. The black beast out. It's uh, quite strong. Oh, uh, good old rupees, yep. <laughs> Lychee, start with a rupee. Kokonoe is another Who's rupee, Kokonoe? wow. <laughs> what were you gonna do to Mr. Ravna the Blade? Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part because it absolutely cracks me up. All right, ready? Ah, uh, yes. Well, no reason not to tell you. First, I intended to take his... Inferno Divider! And put it in a... Carnage Scissors! Maybe a little... Gauntlet Hades! Too? Oh, my goodness. I can only imagine what his... Hell's Fang! Will... Dead Spike! <laughs> I love, I like that because those are the actual moves Ragna uses. Those are the names of his actual moves. <laughs> the fact that they played it for the X's is great. <laughs> what? what? How could you stoop so low? That's totally unfair. Like I care. Keep dreaming, kid. I'm gonna make the best kind of censorship, yep. <laughs> it's the same thing in the Rana Japanese dub mine. too, and it's wonderful. Don't speak of him as if he's merely an object. Just shut the hell up, you skanky old hags! Oh, Who are you calling? I better not hag. have just heard what I think I heard. I've had enough! I'm gonna make one They're thing. They're not even that old. Now <laughs> the blood edge is already is already my husband! What? <laughs> oh, the scream. You could have me as your wife. Why? You stay out of this! You're just making things worse! What the hell are you blabbering about, you shriveled old prune? Explain yourself! I took the liberty of going to City Hall and filing our marriage registration. I am now officially Mrs. Ragna the Blood Edge. Mrs. Ragna the Blood Edge. <laughs> I thought his last name was the Blood Edge. I didn't know his entire name. Like both his first and last name is <laughs> Ragna the Blood Edge. I guess he just has to write his name twice. <laughs> All right, let's go. Marriage registration? How the hell did you do that? Yeah, okay, fine. What about the seal? There's no way in hell you've got Ragna the Blood Edge's stamp. Oh, that. Well, I had a friend in the armament division make me one. So... So you took advantage of your government job and <laughs> made us a, a, a stamp to get married. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Doesn't the librarian have more important things to be doing? Every girl's dream is to become Mrs. Ragna the Blood Edge. Yep. <laughs> oh my! It oh look, it's more girls. Some, um, we have a squirrel girl, a doll, and a robot girl. <laughs> You're so hot! Ragna located. Intense attraction. Confirmed. Expression of love. Initiated. Oh look, it's the special CG. 
Makoto Lamba leap on Ragna, crushing him beneath their supply young bodies. He let out a muffled scream of agony. Oh, look at that. He's just getting hugged by everyone. <laughs> and Rachel's just saving with jealousy. Of a co robotic purpose, Nirvana ex. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot to read that quick enough. Resting in the palm are the remains of a slip of paper, all that is left of Noel's marriage <laughs> certificate. <laughs> My marriage registration! Delightful. So they can affect even her. The spectacles of Eros are more powerful than I could possibly imagine. Oh my. Is that... a detonator? Oh no. Her only answer is to depress the red button on top of it. Oh. Something blew up. <laughs> oh! Oh yes! The sweet sound of multiple explosive detonations. I love the smell of explosions in the morning. And I do believe they're coming from the direction of Kagutsuchi City Hall. What? No! I won't be able to submit one of my duplicate marriage registrations! She has copies of them? <laughs> you actually have more of them? It's, you could not right. even eat a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got the librarian to make you a fake seal. That's pretty sad. Impressive, but sad. Oh god, everyone's just roasting Noelle at this point. Analyzing subject. Dignity. Undetectable. Memory guns. Below detectable parameters. Oh my god. Leva is just like, yep, she's a flatty. <laughs> Wow. Best to have multiple copies hidden across the world. Yep, that's... Honestly, she should have done that. She should have kept, like, multiple copies spread out. Not not put it all in one place. <laughs> There's no way that Ragna could possibly fall for someone like Noelle. She's not even an adult yet. I mean, she's technically me? a young adult. It's so because she graduated from this world's equivalent of high school and entered the military. <laughs> and got a governmental Excuse job. Me, but what did you just say? Jin? My goodness. This is both unexpected and pleasing. Unexpected and pleasing. You surrounded by a great number of beautiful women. Perhaps you can explain the meaning of all this. Oh, great. We have the Yandere <laughs> Rudder Con. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Is this going to become eyes. BL now? Like, They're... Ragnar just gets oh, a hair on both guys and girls. <laughs> Although in the ultimate analysis, I rather doubt Jin's feelings toward Ragnar required much modification. You horrible pack of harpies. Don't you dare touch my brother! Get out of my way! Or I'll cut you to pieces! Ah, uh, classic Jin. <laughs> oh dear. Yukiyanasa! And the spectacles of Eros. A powerful item indeed. They can work their power on men and women of all ages. Wait. Why then did they not affect me? Maybe because you're in love with him already?
Oh, I guess she's gonna get herself her own harem after putting it on. But yeah, so that was Rachel's gag ending. The popular gag ending. The one that actually gets multiple sequels in every game afterwards. <laughs> the one that has the most doujins. <laughs> or what most doujins of Blaze Blue is based on. And everything. Yep, that was the popular harem gag ending. <laughs> Can't wait to see the next one. Well, yeah, the next ones are great, Eagle. Like, Central Fiction one? Pretty great. They literally go full on meme mode in that one, and it just cracks me up every time I think about it. But I would say the one in Central Fiction, the last game, I think that will be my like favorite version of the um the harem gag ending. That one was actually very funny and everything. The last one I think is like the best one. It helps that like that one they all have they have all the girls, like all the girls in the series at that point. And there's just a bunch of crazy shenanigans that happened there. But yeah, I would say that was a good place to end. I'm <laughs> I'm glad I was able to show this ending to you guys. It's really great. I like it. So let me go to the ending screen screen. And then I'll give you guys a recap. I'll tell you when I will stream again. And then I'll say my thanks and my goodbyes. So the recap. All I did was the story mode. I finished three character stories surprisingly really quickly and got all their endings. And we saw Rachel's gag ending, the most popular gag ending of the series. <laughs> and I was like, let's see, what else did I do in the stream? Um, I kind of just like blabbered on, just talk about random stuff in Blaze Blue. <laughs> and then also chatting with you guys. Which I always like a lot. Like, we, we have fun conversations and everything. So yeah, that would be a good recap. So, I will be streaming tomorrow at the usual time, 11am PST time. That will be the schedule. I'll be streaming tomorrow. And I think that's it for me to say. So I'll say my thanks and I'll say my goodbyes. So thank you all for watching me. I appreciate it a lot. Those who've been lurking, I appreciate the support. You guys are cool. Those who've been chatting with me, I enjoy the conversations we have. They are quite fun. I was literally given the opportunity to goof off when it comes to some of the more funnier endings of this game, and I'm, I, I, I appreciate it a lot. It's great. I love it. <laughs> I really like Blaze Blue. And let's see what you guys wrote down real quick before I say my goodbyes. Thank you for the stream. No problems, Eagle. I hope your sister gets better soon. And nothing bad happens afterwards and everything. So I'll say my goodbyes now. So have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon, whatever time it is on your side of the world. This is Final Mizu saying goodbye. Goodbye.